Tony Blair to mess out. We're going to another uh, homeless encampment enforcement here in Venice. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. How you been doing, all right? Good, good. Gary was looking for you. Oh, Gary, yeah, he's always here. <laughs> they came early. Yeah, they really did, man. They were going to on the camera. Yeah. This is uh, Adventist Cop Watch, Matt Fisher. So these cops the other day, like tech, with like eight cops that were doing warrant over here. Mm, that's right. And uh, they just knocked on the door and left. Why was that? Easy. Yeah, because norm <laughs> normally don't they uh, let a big door down or something? They'll get the manager to open it. Oh, God, yeah. It was, it was serious. Yeah. Hey, uh, let me know how the stream is coming out from uh, 1 to 5 people let me know park ranger posted notices yesterday along along the beach you're kidding for tomorrow wow how, how is it out there i was i seen the videos that they've been it's getting a lot more new people okay every night all right how you doing okay hey What they sent you? Uh, which one? About the owl. Oh yeah, that was you. Yeah, that was okay. me. Thank you, man. Yeah, over a thousand rodents, you know, a year. One single owl does. It's a great rodent control. No, it is that the, the owl. The same way with the falcon up there. Yeah. So I'm advocating more of these pairs of owls, falcons, any type of uh, of raptor. Well, I guess the falcons, uh, uh, LAX, or I guess the LAX. Oh, because they get into the planes. Yeah. Okay, but we're, you know what, they come out of, you know, they fly, all right? They, they come out of Griffith Park. Right? Oh, yeah, they fly, man. But that nest that you showed me, which is, we got to keep top secret, okay? Yeah. That we can't let anybody okay. know about that because some idiot will. You think so? Yeah. But that's definitely him, right? It, I think it is. I haven't, seen, are, I haven't seen the falcon, but I bet you it is. The branches are like really thick with branches. Yeah. They're not pigeon branches. No. You know not. what I mean? Well, they eat pigeons. Yeah. yeah. But, but pigeons have like, a, they use smaller branches. Though. Right. No, and this looks like, you're, I think it's either that or a hawk. Yeah. Okay. Somebody that's happy in it. Yeah. Oh, well, they're eating the roads. I mean, yeah. the rodents, which is, which is great. You saw that picture I took of uh, the black uh, crown night herring on third. Yeah, that's amazing. It's there because of the uh, rodents too. There's so much food for them, right? Yeah, but those owls are great. Now, I didn't know they ate a thousand a year. That's before. unbelievable. Man. That's that's why they're here. Yeah. See, dumb fuck um, Bonin doesn't put the right. Rat proof trash can. He's just lost it. Yeah. You know the ones on the beach? Yeah. Every morning when the city pulls out the trash cans, little mice run out from under all of them. They live inside the city. Yeah, because they're not there. Yeah, it's a new chance. LA released a bunch of hours. All right, so I got nobody helping me out here. Is this is somebody in this chat can let me know how my stream is. This one person, because I, I asked already, and no one's, no one's helping me here, so. Obviously, people that are not responding are not fans of mine. Is there, is there anybody in uh, the chat and let me know how my uh, stream is from one to five? Because I don't want to waste the stream and if it's not working, I'll just go live. I mean, uh, okay. You can give me a roll for the whole week. I'm going to ask one more time, otherwise I'm going to cut the stream and just go uh, shoot 4K. I'm not going to, if you guys don't want to help me, I don't want to waste my time even doing the stream. So I'll wait a few more minutes. If nobody says anything, I'm going to cut the stream. So one to five, how is my stream coming out? That's all I ask.
All right, thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, Jane. All right. Thank you. Okay. Scott, I, I just woke up. I'm not, I'm not in a good mood. Don't okay, sweetheart. Okay. Are you too? Thank you for that, man. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. we gotta get, get that word out, man. Don't use the rat points, you know, to kill the predator. Yeah. You know, the uh, raptors. Yeah, I heard that 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 uh, it's, a, it's a really bad sight when they get when they eat it and they start dying. Yeah, and you know, and it, right now if we we get if we get the amount of uh, of uh, raptors out there, they can control it with in conjunction with rodent proof trash cans. That'd be great, man. And that's what we need, man. All right, so I'll yeah. put that out there, man. Yeah, yeah. I thought you'd like that. No, man. I love it. No, I love it, man. <laughs> I, you know, I posted it and I, you know, shared it all over the place. It's a dude. Uh, he has bald head. Homeless guy. You see him? Yeah, yeah, over here. Uh, uh, Julian. Yeah, Julian said uh, the owl will come by his van in, in the morning, like five. Yeah. Make a noise. So he put an owl on his chest. Which is? He had a tattoo. Yeah. It's expensive owl, man. Oh wow. Because he knows about the owl, man. Because it came by his uh, van. Somebody blamed the owl on killing these two birds. They were in the, uh, they were in a cage, and they died of a heart attack. It, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't the owl, man. It was uh, a falcon. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean? yeah falcons eat pigeons. That's for sure. You know. But it, it couldn't get to the pigeons. I mean, the uh, the birds because it was like uh, in the cage. But they died of a heart attack. Wow. So the guy wants to kill the owl. Says you no, can't kill no, the owl, no, man. No, no, no. Uh, this is just nature. You know? Oh yeah, it's nature. But it's kind of sad, but you know. Yeah. Well, we need more uh, raptors, not less. Yeah. Especially around here, man. You come that's back. A, that's the way. Huh? Where are you going? Are you coming back? I don't know. I mean, uh, what, what's this else? It's just, it kind of looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, what else is there to do? I, I mean, got you. You know, I mean, I, I'd be curious if they're going to, I don't think they're going to hit third. I think they're understaffed. They should be hitting third at the same time. It should be once a week. And and Thursday was the last. Friday. Yeah. Thursday's Friday? Thursday's Friday. Oh, now they change it to Friday? Okay, Thursday, Friday. Well, okay. Oh, okay, Thursday, Friday. Okay, got it. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, thanks, man. Thank you for that. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome, man. I thought of you, man. All right. But actually, it really brought, opened up my eyes to the fact that, hey, we need raptors are the solution, part of the solution to the rodent problem. You get the rodent proof trash can and the raptors, and then you clean up this place, and you got to clean up under the tents. This service is not sweeps. It's ridiculous because the Rodents go underneath the tents. Okay. And they piss and they shit and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. And all that. There's over 30 diseases you can get from just that alone. Yeah. So get them off the streets. Disinfecting the streets is good for the homeless. It's good for the residents. It's good for the tourists. And I guess they have the, uh, the tunnels in there, the back tunnels. Oh, they've got uh, burrows along the on the on, along the fence line over you. there. Wow. I showed you pictures of that. Yeah. Remember? And uh, so they're all over the place. Yeah. And, and he just mentioned they're sand mice. I mean, this place is just infested, and uh, you know, and you got it. I mean, these guys can easily go out underneath these structures, and they do. They tense. There's nothing. I mean, it's, it's easy. Easy, yeah. It's easy for them. They can get through a hole that's the size of the diameter of a pencil. It's amazing. I know. It is amazing. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna see that video about those uh, those little dogs in New York. They kill the rats. People, people have these dogs, and they uh, little dogs. They kill big rats. Okay. Uh, I'm sending that video. Yeah, the only problem with uh, dogs and cats killing rats is they can also get the fleas, they have bubonic plague, and bring it into your yeah, house. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's difficult. Yeah. But I think the best solution is your friend, the owl. Yeah, the owl. You know? We need more owls. We need more owls yeah. and, and falcons and raptors. That's what they call raptors exactly. and predators. Yeah. Wow. But, uh, yeah. And that's cool too, man. I mean, we would like to see more of those around, wouldn't we? No, no, we I mean, just as a cool factor. Oh yeah, factor. cool factor. But yeah, yeah doing it, they're working. Yeah, a thousand mice, a thousand rodents a year, each one. That's unbelievable, man. Yeah, man. And that—that's not just a thousand. That's a thousand that don't get to breed. Because that thousand can, if it wasn't for them, that thousand could breed another hundred thousand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And thank you, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Put a little extra into it. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Seven Mac a close up and uh how you doing? Hey, how's it going, Tony? Yeah, Good to seven Mac close up and uh Matt Fisher and then Scott Watch. I'm live right now. Okay, good. <laughs> Man, it's been slow at LAX, man. Oh, I keep missing shit, man, because I, I get there at a certain time, and I'm, I'm missing shit. You got like four arrests yesterday, but they were all born. Oh, you got the four arrests? Yeah, right. you, you get the arsonists? Huh? The arsonists on Rose? They came around 4.30, the arsonists. Uh, oh, an arsonist? So. Yeah, on Rose oh. and uh, yeah, but I, was, I, just got, I just got back from LAX, I was tired. That's a bit, you, wow, you were busy yesterday. I saw 7-Eleven, you were talking about it with Joe Fire yesterday. That's the one. That's the one, man. Out. I can't wait. I'm excited about that. Nice. I went down to the Newport yesterday. You've been down there? Good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, news service, how you doing? It's very news service. Hey, no me. No, see, I just know me. And all that. Man. See, it's. No me. No, N O E M I. New York City State in School. How are you? We're, we're like, I guess we're in like uh, Hampton and Rose, just like a uh, block from it's right next to the Rose Cafe, an exclusive restaurant. It's Julian, the man, the man that was a, uh, he has an owl on his chest. Naomi, 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 yeah, like like uh, Naomi Campbell, right? I get her a lot at the airport. Naomi Campbell. Hey, Tony, how are you? I'm okay. I'm just uh. Thank God for Ben Scott watch because I was home watching um, Judge Judy. I thought it would be later. Seattle Jody in the house. How about you, Seattle Jody? I love I love Seattle Jody. She's always a, she's a great monitor and a great person. 
Oh, you found it part of the movie, yeah. That was uh, 1986. That was a movie called Tongues. And uh, I had a good time doing that movie, actually. They put my, they put my show in that movie. It's uh, Tongues. Good to hear, uh, Seattle Jody. Yeah, LAX has been slow. I, I've been there four days in a row. See, four, hey, thank you very much, there, Bob. Uh, I've been there four days in a row, and it's been really slow. I mean, it's, it's nothing happening, but eight in the morning, and now you don't know what, you don't know when something's gonna happen in LAX. Normally, I've been lucky enough to get stuff over the uh, years I've been out there, but I'm in a slump right now with LAX. So hopefully, something happens. Uh, I'll be here. I'll be here most of the day. I'm not sure I'm going, but hopefully I will show up today. But uh, yeah, man, I, there was this one chick at Terminal 5 going to, I, I wasn't there, but she was going to TSA and she had a large amount of cocaine on her and she took it and threw it, threw it up in the air. It was all over the place. Oh well, yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, a couple weeks ago. This guy attacked me from behind. So I maced him, and then I had to kick him. But when I kicked him, I, uh, I, I pulled the muscle. Just getting over that. I'm 62 years old, so I guess when you, when you fight with somebody, you gotta pay uh, the pain the next day. So I made Fox News, actually. And my mother was in New York, and she didn't know it was on. And came on, and she saw it. So a bad thing was a good thing. Thank you, Tony. Well, you gotta be out here, you know? Yeah, I gotta check the uh, the taser and see how legal it is in LA. Wow, how you doing? How's it going? Good. Who you up to, girl? This again? <laughs> that's, that's good. You got it early. That's good because Matt called me because I was uh, watching Judge Judy. I do. I thought it was gonna be later, but uh, they you came. Were watching Judge Judy. I love Judge Judy because uh, she's she a, on in the morning. Well, they have a thing uh, on uh, a Pluto TV. It's a Judge uh, Judge Judy channel. <laughs> Twenty-four hours Judge oh, Judy. Got it. Got it. I'm not really a fan of her because she doesn't really go by the rules. She makes her own rules up. She's but, kind of theatrical, right? Yeah, she really. That's why I, I guess I'm. I guess I hate it, but I love it in the same. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but we all have our like, you know, our shows we like. To yeah, watch. I mean, I got her. I got her once at LAX. Oh, you did? Yeah, she's very like uh, in real life. She's nice, but she's bossy. In real life. Yeah, because oh. we got it really good. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> we got it really good, and then she goes, "Okay, that's enough," you know, and we left. So that was enough, man. She said, "Done." Yeah. <laughs> Not told that they can go back. What? Okay. So is this spot cleaning, or is this going to be taking away people's things? Uh, hey Matt, is this a a cleaning, or they have to they have to leave? No, this is a confidential cleaning. What does that mean? They say when we clean, they have to move this stuff and get it thrown away. So they can come back. Oh yeah, they, just like always. Yeah. Until they do the forty-one. Hey Gary. Oh wow, coffee. You got coffee there? Yeah. Well, wow, thanks. How, how'd you know? I got cream and sugar. I oh, think. You didn't hear me calling you when you? No, I heard you. I was uh, streaming live. You want cream and sugar? No, no, I like it black. My father my father always had it black, man. Huh? My father always had it black. Good. Yeah. Wow, thanks, man. How's it going over here? Um, oh, I got a tip for you. You do? Yeah. Okay. Let me drink me a little coffee. I'm oh, yeah. What's going okay. On. Amazing. The guy got me a coffee. Oh, All right. How you doing? Hey Gary, how's it going? Right. That's a lot of wasted. The guy got me a coffee, people. Evidently. You remember about a month ago when you were down in the parking lot where they were at the campus? Yeah. Are you talking about the 
Yeah, but that. Yeah, yeah, but that. Yeah, yeah, but that. Yeah, yeah, but that. See what the issue is now, huh? What? See Mike Bonnet? What do you mean? The black face. Oh, they did that, they did that now? They did it to Mike Bonnet. Kidding? Yeah, put it on the internet. Wow. Hey, uh, you see Mike Bonnet on the internet? No, what happened? They put a black face on him. <laughs> Why? Some idiot, man. He's, he's, he's a racist motherfucker. You think so? Yeah, okay. Come on. I've been following Mike his whole career. Yeah, but I, uh, I was I was really good friends with uh, Bill Rosenthal. Me too. And uh, Bill wasn't a racist. No, Bill was great. Yeah. Except he was harder on homeless people, but everybody was back then. Right. Yeah, yeah. Bill would meet with me once a week yeah, and talk about it. Yeah, Bill was always open. Yeah. Mike won't meet with anybody. Yeah, he won't. No, I saw that uh, that chick made that comment. And I was like, I, I gotta warn you, man. She went through all the guys, man. She went through the furry <laughs> potato, uh, California. Uh, let's see, uh, dude's not California. It's a lot of a lot of different guys, man. California cop watch. Yeah. And she meets him on the internet. You should make a nice comment. Does she try to meet with you? She said I was lucky, me. No, no. I just want to <laughs> give you heads up on that one, man. That's yeah. trouble. So, uh, well, you, you got to. Because, you know, LAX is, man, you know, it's, it's a great place to work, but you don't know what's going to happen. So you, so you have the scanner going. You should try it down there at the metro in Santa Monica, where the end of the line. Yeah. At night, the police get rough with people all the time. There's all kinds of action down there. But the problem with this, I'm, I'm actually suing the cops right now over there, and I don't want to get in a conflict with them. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I, I got a big federal lawsuit against those motherfuckers, man. Those, those, those are really the hard people, man. It's out of my jurisdiction. Yeah. No, but uh, I want to go because, but uh, the lawyer told me basically to stay low from those guys. And this kind of is like a block. Yeah. That really sucks, man. Different channel. What do you mean? You can hear mine going Monday and going. Oh, yeah, they, they probably use, they use them on the tax. Yeah. Yeah. I hear them on the beach all the time. They get to different calls on the different channels. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Right next yeah. To them. Okay. No problem. Let it figure it out that we, you know, we got them on. Citizen pops it up after. <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear nothing on your scanner about a week ago? Uh, No. Over, about that? No, I didn't, I didn't hear that. I heard yesterday the, the Austinist guy. They're setting fires yeah. on the beach. Mm -hmm. They got him at uh, 4 o'clock. Because since I might turn it off, it's, it's too much. It's pretty tough, you know. Did you see her in action? 
You don't work at 4 o'clock, right? I'm up at 4. I mean, uh, yeah, afternoon, scan, oh, scan. No, no, no. They had that awesome. I wake, I wake up at 4 a.m. Did they okay. catch him in that? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, they, but uh, people saw him do it. He was on Rose, uh, Rose Court right by the beach. I do the morning shift. Yeah. Overextend yourself. Yeah. Oh, what do you call me? Peggy. <laughs> no. You're not going to believe it. Go ahead. Snoop Dogg. Get out of here. He called yeah. you? He's coming to see you or something? Uh huh? Well, he said he's going to talk to me later on this week. That's great. He was trying to figure out, was that a guy in the mask? Oh, of course you're right. An elder. Yo, yeah. uh, Hughley mentioned me on his show, too. Of course, I mean, you're famous for that, man. Yeah, but you try to make it up, though. That shows that clearly. Look, uh, this white boy that got the blue van. Yeah. Look what he did. He went and bought some boxes. Bought the boxes over here, had them do store their property in the boxes and store it on the U-Haul. Yeah, that's right. You know, so. That's great. And then they, each one of them gave him some money back. I think he spent 50 bucks and he got 40 back already. But that was your, each, each one of them gave him 10 bucks and uh, for storing their property in the U-Haul. That was your U -Haul. idea. That was your idea. He, he watches my videos. But see, I don't know why all these people didn't yeah. do that. Because we had two trucks. Wow. And see, that's another thing, man, if you don't keep it clean. You know, we offered to put this stuff in the trucks for him. You didn't yeah. want to put it in the truck. He's doing that now. He's, he's going to have a U-Haul truck and putting all the stuff in there. Yeah. And you know the, the German guy? He's doing it now. He has a U-Haul, and he sells for, if you put 10 bucks in. We got about 10 people that, that put it, that put a, well, he didn't even ask for nothing. Just four or five people donated him 10 bucks. That's great. You know, but some people didn't want to put their stuff in the U-Haul. Yeah, I see you people. Some of them just, you know, just, because just don't care. They know what's coming. But it, were you allowed of, to have time to get this stuff? Well, there's a lot of people around the corner to get stuff. Well, that's what I'm saying. I guess they just didn't. Yeah, but they no, but they store it and then they throw it away. They don't, they don't, they don't actually don't, yeah, that's not guaranteed. Yeah, people actually don't get the stuff back. Well, when this was first launched, you know, what three, four weeks ago? Yeah. They told people, oh, you can't go back to your stuff because we can't prove it's yours. Like that was shady. Very shady. If, if, what's your, uh, your Instagram? My Instagram? Yeah, for the, the people oh, watching. Uh, it's Alicia Marie Keats. Yeah, <laughs> she's amazing. Uh, folks. She looks really sweet uh, and everything. Right ask, her, ask her, ask her, the guy who let her know about the U-Haul truck. I'm going to put it on my truck. Where are you going to take it? Just watch this right here. All right. I'll put it on my truck. I can't, believe, I, can't, I can't believe she didn't move her stuff because she's a regular. What kind of painting did she do? Oh, no, the colors. You learn on yourself? You still paint? They do the high hope for a way. But they do down there. They do clean the sub hope. But it's the guy's whose property. He has the guy's property. Like they don't the But it's never dirty down there, neither, though. No. Never dirty. No. Yeah, yeah see, that's why I keep trying to point out that it's, side it's, over there. They never mess with them over there, man. Because we don't have it dirty like that. You ever that. look down there? Yeah, it's, it's downtown to give yeah. you uh, no, a receipt, but I never heard anybody that. getting this stuff from downtown. Yeah. So. That's what draws attention. I'll keep checking that out. I hear stories that they go down there and they can't get it. Yeah. Allegedly. Now, we got one, two, three, four, five, six fucking police cars tied up for nothing. Yeah. They all at least make a hundred and fifty grand a year. For nothing. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. That money could go towards so much. Ooh, money. Stop supporting my fund. Is there a way to get it? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Is Ron still there? Who is Ron? Yeah, he's here. He's still there? Yeah. You out. What did I just see you on last night? You did something. Oh, the search warrant. Oh, yes. Yeah, you didn't come out? Uh, they, uh, no, they didn't come out, man. Because uh, I guess they saw me taping. I guess they they left. Maybe. I'm pretty sure he was in there or whoever. Oh, yeah, of course they wasn't there, man. You don't answer the door, though. You know, unless, they, unless it's a serious warrant where they're going to break it down. He was going to come, Yeah. That's true. They wanted to clean Cause it's weird they only, they only stayed a few minutes and they left. Faster did it. Yeah. It's okay like that. No, I don't drag it. Oh, okay. The dude had the 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 U-Haul truck. What dude? Uh, the German. Yeah. Right, cut the street. Uh huh. And uh, he threw a lot of people's stuff in there. You see the guy over there on the right hand side? Uh huh. He does it every Thursday. He has a U-Haul truck. He just throw your stuff. You know okay. him, right? Yeah. Yeah, you should talk to him for next week. Alright. Thank you. Are oh, you welcome? She so got about five police cars here. Where Rose? You know, I haven't been posting videos. It's like I, I, I've been at LAX. 9-11 uh, was a sad day for me, now, and I was there. But it's been really slow. Stuff's been happening there, but I, you got to be, be there at the right time. And I've been missing stuff, so. It's not like I, I haven't been trying to get stuff. But uh, yeah, it's been slow at LAX. These people should know better. You know, these people are they're very clean. You know, I don't, want, I don't know why they didn't move this stuff. Well, it keeps doing it one week and not doing it. Okay, the I got you. Know? you. Man, you got a lot of subscribers now, man. Get, on it. No, but I, I think I think you can uh, get ads on your stuff now. Right? Oh, I'm already got that. Yeah, so you're good. I've had that for a couple of days. I'm gonna do some full-length feature movies soon. You might as well. I got enough footage. Yeah. Did you put ads on all your videos? Did they all get accepted? Except for the one with him. That was the only one out. Fight. No copyright. Oh, you know. the, the Tony Vera one. They said un, uh, said it was too graphic. It was too graphic. Yeah. Right. So I, I clipped him into the channel trailer. And it worked out. Yeah. That one's not monetized, is it? Yeah. But YouTube is uh, weird because, uh, like with me, if I get a girl with a bikini on, they was they was give me trouble with that, man. But uh, everyone else gets away with it. Yeah. But the, the, the YouTube is really hard on me. Yeah. No, I got it too with bikini. Also, they got me. Oh, they did. Yeah. Good. I don't, thank you. I don't feel so bad. There was an artist there painting the bikini. Was yeah, nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, man. Yeah. So I don't film that stuff. You can't. Keep it clean. Even the bodybuilding, those girls. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, the German girls got, Yeah. The, the German did those girls in bikini on stage, and they also same thing. The yeah, same thing, man. Because uh, I remember they first started off years ago, and uh, these chicks running around with the pasties. Are, like, I taped the uh, topless thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, for topless thing. I was, I was the first one doing that yeah. the first year, Yeah. and I, I took it off. Yeah, they, yeah, I did they, that one, too. They, they, were, they, were, they were mean back then, you two. Right. They would give you a strike. Did they give you a strike? Yeah. Oh, You got your PayPal link, right? Yeah, oh, you, you got everything down. Yeah, You're not playing. I just learned a month, less than a month ago, but I've been watching nonstop videos and how to do everything. Yeah, you know? that's good. So I got, I just did the ID verification with AdSense. That's good. So yeah, now it's, You're set. They're gonna send me my money. Oh yeah. If I ever make it. <laughs> no, you will. Uh, uh, I've made like 50 bucks so far. Yeah, but it, it'll grow. Yeah. Get some new cameras. What? Real camera. What kind of camera? Okay. Nice little video camera. Real something nice. You don't like that? 
I miss too much with it. Because the zoom, right? And you need to zoom. Yeah, in. I got you. It takes too long to turn on. Yeah, yeah. I want a nice big one. I'm gonna get a couple of guys, the homies with me. Cover everything. I got you. Turn it into cops. Then it's beach. Yeah. You know? They're gonna have nowhere to hide. Right now they're behaving themselves in the morning, but when I leave in the afternoon they're acting up. Yeah, I, I hear them just kind I saw this one video on a phone book, you know, this type of stuff, and uh, had like, I don't know, a tremendous amount of views, like about three hundred dollars, four hundred thousand. And I looked up their tags, they only had two tags, homeless and all that. Yeah, but who is it? It was some, some news. Yeah. Channels, that's why. They're a news group. You would think they would know better. They don't need tags. No, because they have like links. He don't put up a bunch of tags. It gets all kinds of views. People know him. They're on YouTube forever. Yeah, well, I mean, you think it would be best practice. For German people. Mike, look at his tags. They're, they don't make sense at all, but you still yeah. got hundreds of yeah. thousands of views because people love them. Yeah. But some people it don't matter. If you're popular enough, you don't even have to right. put anything. That's true. The people in Kensington, Philadelphia, oh, check yeah. them. They don't put anything. They don't? No, just Kensington, Philadelphia. That's amazing. Huh? But they get hundreds of thousands. Yeah, they do. Yeah. People know about them. Yeah. Them. But they're, they're searching the tags is just for smaller people. I got you. But I guess I, you know they're like the biggest search engine in the world. But Google on them. The YouTube. I don't know that. So if they're the biggest search engine, you might as well put the tags in there, right? They would probably be doing a lot better if they did. Yeah. Right. But on my, my YouTube feed, it's nothing but news. <laughs> they show that stuff all the to time. You. To everybody. I think they show you kind of what you're interested in. What category are you guys in? Well, I do uh, uh, LAX, I do airport, for airport police. No, but what YouTube category is your channel for? I got to blog, news and politics. Oh, every every video I change it. For what? Well, I, for this I put news and politics. Okay. Sometimes I put uh, uh, non-profit and activism. They say they say, sports. they say that it, it doesn't have a good shelf life on news and politics. It doesn't? Really? Yeah, they say it's only up there a little bit and then they stop showing oh. it to people because it's news. It's, then activism it's, it's would probably be better. That's a good point. People on blog seem to be the People on blog? That's what I do, yeah. I That's good, yeah. What about activism? Not popping that there's, there's less people searching that stuff. Oh, I see. How many people Google that? Yeah, but those guys are very popular, man. Some of them. No, the First Amendment auditors. Really? The First Amendment auditors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys, but I don't know what category they're in. Uh, they might be in people in blogs, too. Yeah, that's true. But I'm, I'm, I'm different. Yeah, you got to be different. I'm different. I'm trying to turn it into Cops TV show. That's awesome. Did you, you should look into that like, like you were saying. That would be awesome. I found out with YouTube Shorts. They let you use, they have a whole list of music. Favorite yeah. music, since it's only 30 seconds. And if you're going into the YouTube Shorts thing, you can use it. Do they have it on there? Uh, yeah, yeah. So now I got a whole new segment where I'm getting police reactions by rolling up on one. I got somebody's hand touched on the top of the page. Look, back, boom. And they look back like, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a short? That's going to be a whole chain of shorts. I'm trying to get some of that short money. Yeah, but I heard you can buy, you can buy copyrighted music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a site for that. Yeah, right, right. They got right. a bunch of services and things like that. I've yeah. been looking it up because everybody's complaining about my music. <laughs> Did you look at the YouTube music library? That, that's even worse. You don't like it. This is the worst reason for what I got. Um, so, how do you just prefer the channel? Spotify or something? You could pay? Yeah. For Spotify? Yeah. Yeah. I found a bunch of different sites last night. It's a million free. How much are they? Another three. Uh, oh, wow. Let me see. Look at this. I got a tip here. I got uh, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Steve gave me $50. Isn't that great? Steve gave me fifty dollars, man. Hey, thank you, Steve. Yeah. So you got uh, uh, Venus, uh sell my close up. I didn't, I didn't know him at first. I thought he was a cop because he has a uh, press pass, but he, he's actually a great guy. And uh, sometimes you look mean. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't smile. Right. You have that cop look. Oh. Because I thought you, I thought you were the sheriff when I first saw you. You, you were so damn close. Oh, I didn't see. Didn't you? Yeah. And Matt Fisher, Venice cop was. Yeah, but he's a great guy, man. Because uh, thank you. Thank you. We start talking, and, and then I, you know me, I don't talk, but when I start talking, I don't, I don't shut up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but he's really a great guy, man. But uh, when you first see him, you, you kind of think, wow, he looks like he's mean and he looks like he's a cop. But he's not a cop. He's a far thing from a cop, man. But he has a real... And we got the same phones. Oh, that's great. That's 21. That's 21, man. Great phone. Great phone. Excellent. The only problem is to come out with can a new one. Can you change your cameras when you're live? Like, or you're stuck with one camera on, on live? No. You can't, can you zoom in? Yeah, but the zoom is not the way... It, it's within the same camera. It doesn't shift to no, the man. camera. No, man. Yeah. So, you, you so know... It's just one camera only. It was cool because the, the, the fans come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they, they want to be live sometimes. And then they can support you. Yeah. And then there's no there's no kind of editing either, so it's kind right, of nice. Right, right, right. And the support helps you keep making these videos. Yeah. Right? They, they have a new, uh, you can store all your videos. It's uh, iPhoto. Oh, yeah, iPhoto, yeah, yeah. You do that? Yeah, uh, yeah I do that. It's, it's I was a, doing it, but. It's a special now, it's a dollar a year, man, limited storage. Unlimited? Uh, yeah. A dollar? Yeah. That's cheap. Did they change the pricing? No, right now it's a special now. It's a dollar a year for unlimited storage. Oh, I know that. And everything you shoot gets stored automatically. Oh, okay. GoPro does 50 bucks a year. They're unlimited. And if you lose your camera, they'll replace that, it. You can't beat wow, that. Wow, that's awesome. They're coming out with the 10 you get next that month. I'm thinking about it. Might but well. I want to get a big, nice, real, you know, one of the hand What kind? Like a... a little, you know, little camera. Uh, you know, those ones that are sports, yeah, they got yeah. the hand down. Right. Thing, you know? Yeah, but I, I got a seven thousand dollar camera that I use for paparazzi. Yeah. I, I don't even like uh, carry it no more, man. They got these small handheld ones that got a little. Yeah, TMZ. Out. Yeah, TMZ has that now. Yeah. TMZ, they they they, they shrunk it. Do the woman's thing. I go out to eat people, get people in the housing. You know, oh, I film see. this and record it to the attorney. Oh, so they're not. I see. What about handyman business? Are you seeing that? Right. I'm, I'm showing you guys, man. Santa Monica Police. I'm showing you. Are you really? Oh, from when they knocked you down, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See that video? I just see it. Yeah, I just see it. No, but that, that was uncalled for, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, really. It was uncalled for. Because, yeah. like I said, yeah. you can do it. You can do it. I'm not, I'm not threatening at all. Right. And you're going to fucking do that to me? You know, right. so yeah. they're, they're yeah. in trouble, man. Yeah. And I saw the video where the guy attacked and you. Oh yeah. He got and from, you were spraying him, right? Was, yeah. He filmed it on a little late, but uh, he got me from the back, uh -huh. and I stayed in the eyes. Like that. I had to, man, because the guy was like. But it wasn't affecting him too much. Right? Okay. No, it wasn't, man. <laughs> That's why I had to kick him. But once again, thanks, Steve. Yeah, some, uh, some sandwiches. <laughs> oh, God. That probably happens all day long, yeah. right? So where do I go to claim it? Okay. They said y'all were coming to clean. A lot of folks go across the street and wait till they're finished. I'd have been happy to help. What do you make no, oh, oh, let me have it. You know the guy across the street? Uh, the, 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 the German guy? You see him? On the right hand side? Yeah, what about it? He's got a U Haul every week that he stores people's stuff in. A U Haul truck. Okay. Nice. That's my stuff right there. It won't let me have it. It's this part that fucking sucks. Because you can't prove it's yours, right? So they won't let you have it? Right, we're just here for that. This is going to happen, I think, every Thursday and every Friday on Twitter. Uh, 
there's people here, there's people that can back me up saying that. This is every Thursday. And that's my tent that destroyed. Wow. This last No. That's that's Lassa. This last year. Maybe, maybe they can help you. Uh, how are you? Remember me? Yeah, this guy needs to get someone to Is that possible? They won't let me have my stuff. It's right, right there. there. I, uh, just a second. Just give me stuff. There you go. Huh. Well, yeah, you know, I got plenty of witnesses, you know. Hey, see, the last is the one that will help you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. No, 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 I'm not saying they're blind eye. They back, see that? See? No, they store it. They store it. And then later, it's hard for them to keep it there, so you don't get it back. Well, it looks like it's labeled, okay? Those look like labels. They store it. That's the whole idea. Well, it looks like he's going to get his things back. Well, I hope so, you know. Like I said, I got plenty of witnesses, you know. That black woman right over there was right next to me. Sandy, she hit my camera. Well, I'm here. There's a German yeah, business. German business is in the house. Well, I had a guy come by. A guy came by, I think, yesterday, right? He said they're going to be cleaning. I didn't think they were going to be doing this. <laughs> Don't you guys talk to each other? Because everybody knows this happens. Well, this I, is I'm, obvious. I'm not from here. Oh, know? how long have you been here? Because everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. I mean, that's a Harley. I rode in on a Harley. I've been. I had. Oh, that's your I Harley. I had road problems. I had road problems. Oh, that's your Harley. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. Be uh, careful when you start that up at five o'clock, Brad. We not hear it. Push it away from the residents. But hey, listen. Uh, you know, this is just started. With, before COVID, this used to be a regular thing. COVID said all stay in place, but now those restrictions are lifted. So they're going to do this every Thursday, Friday, and uh, we have a problem with it. A lot of the stuff is breeding rats. Yeah, and there's but see, diseases I don't, I don't, out here. I don't see them taking down the people later. They do it, they'll do that on Friday. And they just did it actually last Friday. They do that yeah, they'll do, they'll do that on Friday. And they, you should but see the major thing up. But it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. So, no, so what will happen? They have to store it. Store it because they left on the team. Yeah. What do you think about the game do? I'll tell you about it later. I mean, when we go through Yeah, basically. But, but more, more when we get to the Yeah. So, what's your problem? What's the same? Are they going back to the normal? Right. So, what's it's got a big following. You know, the haters.
No? I hope not. She's already got a problem. We tried to call her all day yesterday. We don't even run to rent these trucks for no reason. Okay. Oh, man. You know, she don't even have the courage to turn it off. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hey, you Sherry, how are you? Sherry. Morning. Hey, morning. How you doing? I said, oh, man, that's awful. Yeah, somebody, somebody was, somebody was just saying, uh, uh, let's see. We have lost many hours due to the evaporation. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. that poster. Yeah. This, uh, well, uh, share it with me places. I've shared it and uh, put it up. I actually boosted it and paid for uh, uh, advertisements on Facebook. Yeah, so I guess that kills them, right? The, the rat poison kills them, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it's the rats that eat the poison yeah. die, and then they eat the rats that have the poison. That's terrible, man. I know. I know. And they're, and they're on our side. Yeah, they're, they're on our side, yeah. 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 I mean, there's no snakes here. Snakes are on our side too, but unfortunately we're in a, you know, urban. You don't see any snakes. No, you don't see any snakes. No. So uh, we we only have really the, uh, the rafters that do uh, you know, a good job at it. And I knew they did, but I didn't know. Yeah, thousand, yeah. thousand rodents a year. Each bird takes off their streets. Well, I've seen him do it, man. I've seen more. That's him. more than Bonnet. <laughs> Bonnet, in effect, puts rats on the street because of the trash cans yeah. I've been talking about for how long? A long time. A long time. And the story still hasn't changed. No. You know, and that's why people, you know, they look at, there's, you know, they're trying their best, but they got to clean the, the sidewalks. The diseases are worse than losing their tent. And the uh, tunnels. The rat tunnels. The burrows. Yeah. Rat burrows. Yeah. yeah. They, they, you're too many rat burrows, too many rats, too many diseases. Type. The typhus is a medieval disease that is reoccurring now in Los Angeles mm. because of these sanitary conditions. And there's just no way you can you can expect a meth head that forgets everything because he's shooting up yeah. to clean up. Yeah. This is insanity. So you have to clean the streets to protect the people. And the people are the homes. The people are the residents. The people are the church. People are business owners. People are students, you know? They gotta have access. And we're about the ADA. We're about the guys with wheelchairs that need to go to Gold Street for their own therapy. Yeah. What about, the, what about Google? Did they know about the rats? Yeah, they did because I called the health department on them, baby. So, so what happened? They had the, uh, well, this is years ago. This is like two years ago, and they did see. Nor they confirmed. They said that we have active Norway live burrows on Third wow, Avenue. Wow, wow. So they confirmed it. Okay. Fortunately, this is where my learning curve. Okay, my learning curve is they use the damn rat poison. How, how big are the other rats? Oh, fuck. Norway rats? You seen them? I used to be homeless and they used to bite my toes. Oh, yeah? That's why really? I know about this. Wow. I used to be on a, I used to live off a rooftop you on Burton Avenue in 1980. That's amazing, man. Yeah. But I didn't do meth. I did pot, you know. Yeah. And we couldn't afford cocaine. Well, so. basically, you were, you were a hippie. I was a hippie. Yeah. It was a different thing. Yeah, it was a different, different. feeling, yeah. you know. Now it's not. I mean, the, the fact that you. I mean, I, I'm, I've smoked enough pot that my short term memory is going a little bit. But it's no way near the, the short-term uh, memory you lose with meth. You stop smoking pot? Mm -hmm. You quit pot? Uh, not 100%. Yeah. I reduced it my way back, but a little bit. You know, for for special. Because it's stronger now, it seems. It is, and yeah. I don't get. I don't like that strong. That's stuff. too I like strong. The home oh yeah. Door kind, you know. You want to be able to like to uh, function. Yeah, exactly. You, know? you want to have a happy. Yeah. Family. You don't want to go to sleep. No man. I mean, unless you want, unless you're. No. Nah. You gotta be able to do things during the yeah, day. Exactly. You can't smoke one of those. I don't. I don't do it every day. I don't even do it like maybe once a month. So you have it like you, uh, you're a functioning uh, marijuana guy. 
Well, I do it once a month. I don't even know if you want to call me a marijuana guy. I mean, no, no, you know, not I even mean, that. Not yeah. Once a month, really. That's a good point. You know? I mean, right now, I'm uh, getting into uh, wine. <laughs> you know, a wine case. Yeah. Okay, you, you like that? <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. Right you? Right I quit there. drinking like a while back. Oh, good for you. I had to. Right oh, you had a problem with it? Well, yeah, I mean, I like beer. Oh, yeah. But uh, I just can't have one. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I do. Yeah. So, uh, a lot of my friends lost everything from drinking, man. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a big one, too. And that, and that's that's another issue. But, you know, that's a hard one because it's legal. Well, yeah, well everything's you, legal, it seems like. Yeah, but uh, you, know. you, you can actually lose everything from drinking. Yeah. You know. oh, sure same you way with me. You lose oh. your mind. Oh, you, you'll lose your mind on that. We see it all the time. Oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed, man. Yeah, so that's, that's you know... And, that's worse than PCP, I think. I don't know. My no, PCP that, is bad, They're too. all bad, man. They're all bad, yeah. That one dude that died the other day, the comedian. Yeah. On, on the canals. Yeah, two of them died. Yeah, because I had my... I had well, my that's fentanyl. Fentanyl. Yeah. That was, was laced with the cocaine, I think. How the fuck does that? Well, they don't... I guess they don't know it's laced. Yeah. Well, fentanyl, my wife uses that in ICU. She does? And they, yeah, well, she, she used... You know, they do it for, you know, reasons, you know, medical reasons, because she's in ICU, but it's like... You should see... You think... There's a story here that's untold, and the nurses... They all got class, and they—I don't know—they don't—they don't say it. But imagine this, because most of their homeless are in the hospital. Imagine the shit that they do, especially the meth heads. Okay. Yeah. With all the shit and the craziness. Imagine you're now in a room alone with them, and you're a nurse. That's scary. You bet. Yeah. And that's the untold story. Yeah. Okay. They all go to ICU. Wow. And guess who they meet? My wife. Wow. Yeah. Cedar Sinai. That's amazing, man. Yeah. It is. Not good. Not good. Yeah. And guess who paid for her education? You did. I did. Well, yeah. You, yeah, you, I feel responsible now. Yeah, but so you, what am I doing? I'm yelling, get these guys out of here. Well, you know, I protect my wife. Yeah. You know? Well, it's good you're married, man. I'm married. I've been married for 21 years. It's not easy to be married. No, it's not. And this isn't easy on her. My activism here is not easy on her at all, man. It's not? Well, no, let it's let not. me ask you a question, man. Why yeah. Why anybody saying nothing about the people that are selling fentanyl? I don't know. I, don't, I guess they're scared, right? Scared? Right. What? The, the people selling fentanyl. You rather check the homeless than the people selling the fentanyl. I don't understand that. I don't. I don't even understand. I mean, how do they get their hands on it? I mean, I meant they make it, right? They they bake or not okay, bake but, it, but the, they make everybody it. can say about the homeless, but nobody is saying that about the people that are selling it to them. No. I don't understand that. Maybe they're scared. Scared of what? The, cut, the cartel. They ain't scared of fucking with the homeless. Yeah, because they know. No, you know what it is. Right. You know what it is. It's Proposition 47. It's not a big crime anymore. I got you. It's lowered the, the, the penalties, so now it's like, well, what the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. You know, so I get a misdemeanor. I mean, I can go down there and swipe $900 worth of beef jerky if I want to, and you're not going to throw me in jail. That's true. I, I stole a roll of film back in 1980, and I got thrown in jail for a night. Scared the shit out of me, and I never stole again. Yeah. Now, you got people going to a 99 cent store and walking out with tons of shit. That just wow. happened the other day. Yeah. And nothing they can do about it. You know, they, what, you know, wow. they just fucked up. That's and that's so Proposition 47. Yeah, right? wow. You know that, right? What? You know that. Yeah, yeah, fucking Proposition 47 made everything legal. Yeah. So what the hell? There's no uh, carrot and stick anymore. No jail time, huh? No jail. I spent a fucking night in jail for stealing one roll of film. Well, thank God. You, you, the safe way. That yeah. was the safe way. Yeah. But you stopped, though. Oh, yeah, because I didn't want to spend more yeah. than that. It scared the shit out of me. Of course it did. I threw the roll of film on the roof saying, no evidence, right? Yeah. And they said, now you uh, resisted arrest. That's even worse. Wow. I had to go to court twice. Kidding. So I, and then my VW van was parked the ro at the, uh, well, it's now it's the Whole Food parking lot. But yeah. But you should be safe way. And they towed it. They did? And I had to walk from Culver City back here. Wow. Yeah, what a pain in the ass. Yeah. And I was embarrassed about it. I didn't want my parents to know, because, right? Yeah. So if that was it, that was the last time I shot Luke. That was good that happened to you, though. It did. Yeah. Because Both, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's like, fuck it. Now, yeah. it wouldn't happen. They would just like, oh, you're going to have it. I don't want to have Don't, don't, no, we don't want any problems. Wow, man. Yeah, it's weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah. And I think the same thing with uh, drug use, whatever. It's like, what's the fucking penalty? Yeah. And they get out the same day. So, it, but, it, you know, but even for a large amount, they, they get out the same day. Well, I don't know. About yeah. it. You know, I mean, imagine it's big enough. But I mean, most people know that. I mean, they're smart. I yeah. mean, these guys are in the business. They're smart. But the problem is, these guys, they're using it because of their, they, their lifestyle, and then they don't. The short-term memory goes. So you, they don't remember shooting up. So they shoot oh, again. Oh, okay, that they makes sense. Again. That makes they sense. Shoot again. So the OD. Wow, man. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think they're doing anything on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Who stuff is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, no, no, his. I think that's... But he can't get to it, though, because they told they, me... They, they marked it. They must have his name. 
He tried to get it, but I said he had to go downtown and get it. No, that's a little strange. Yeah, it is. You know, unless they don't, they can't believe it's him. I, how do you, how, okay. How do they know it's his to begin with? He says there's, there's a receipt there. That's what he says. Yeah. Oh, a receipt. You have to have a receipt for the items that you have? It's right there. You know, the, the, the notice on the, on the wall, on the fence? Yeah. That's a notice. Yeah. But, I mean, how do they know? They say, well, everything's mixed up. But then how do you know who's claiming what is really, like, if I wanted a guitar, I could say, I'm homeless. I, that's my guitar. Yeah. How, does, how do you prove that it's your shit? That's true, too. Good point. I just thought of that. Yeah. How the hell does anybody prove anything? Yeah, that's a good that's, point. That's, yeah. Yeah. I guess possession is not intentional at all. Yeah. But if you walk away from your shit, then what? You're not in possession of it, right? Yeah, but... But I had, I had to have a new law now. They can't take this stuff. The, the federal judge, uh, new ruling. Ah, uh, God, there's so many fucking... I can't follow on all this stuff. Man. Yeah. Is there a new ruling now? Yeah. Well, it looks like they're... they're oh, they can't take... They can't destroy their stuff, but they can store their stuff. Well, they can't? Yeah. That's new, because that's what that is? That's going to be stored, that plastic bag. No, but a new ruling said they can't mess with anything. Like, the federal judge said that. The appeals court. The bulky items. Oh, boy, you know. And I'm not doubting you. You're probably right. No, just Google yeah. it. Google yeah. it. It came yeah. out last week. Because what about the storage? If they can't take their stuff, why need the storage? Good point. Well, I thought I was being taken away. It's fucking complicated, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you, know, a, you, you know, I mean, I think the best thing is we got a photograph on our favorite best friend, those Raptors. Yeah. Owls. <laughs> I think that's my thing. Yeah. You know, because uh, I, there's so much gray area here. It's hard to, and there's so many other agendas going on. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, what the hell? Are you really caring for the home? I'm like, St. Joseph's. Like, Come on. Where are you? You're a block away, St. Joseph. Yeah. You should be out there with your care unit. Yeah. You're a block, like, block away. Yeah. Where the fuck are they? Yeah. You know, that's huge. And, and uh, you know. Well, I guess they're making money, you know? St. Joseph's. <laughs> they're, they're too busy asking for donations yeah. for what it goes, you know, doing their PR stuff. Yeah. And this isn't good PR or something? I don't know. It's not good PR that they're not here. In fact, I'm going to mention that. They should be here. I'm going to say, where the hell is St. Joseph's at? Because the, con the I asked the LAPD and said, I don't know. I said, have you seen them? No. And they have to know this is happening. Everybody knows. See, this is what I kind of don't buy. Oh, I don't know if this is happening. Dude, everybody's talking about it. Yeah. We know it's Thursday. We know it's Friday. Don't yeah. give me this whole poor me thing. Yeah. You take your shit and you move it across because you're gonna lucky you, you're gonna have a sidewalk that has less bacteria and and rodent feces and urine on it. Yeah. You should be thanking them and move your shit back when it's clean. You know? But and, and then Julian has that uh, the U Haul truck I did. You know Julian, the guy you were yeah, talking to? Yeah. He has a U Haul truck. He tells folks they can put the stuff in there. That's the U-Haul truck that I photographed. Somebody opened up the uh, uh, hydrant after they cleaned up, and now all that water goes through the storm drain, and kids are playing in it. Okay. They should, you know, that's wow. what screwed up. Okay. I know he, whoever did that was thinking he was doing a good job, okay? But he didn't think of it all the way through. Yeah. Right? So he opens up the hydrant after the crew left, and they're sweeping, you know, they're sweeping, cleaning the street, but they're, and they put it in the gutter, and then where does that gutter go? Eventually it goes into that storm drain, and it hits that sandy beach where kids play. I got you. So, you know, where kids are. Yeah. Not a good thing. Yeah. So what's the answer? If you're going to clean the streets with street cleaning, you have what my friend Elroy does, when he's a professional street cleaner, is you get these, what they call, gutter dams. And they're little sandbags, but they're narrow and long. And you put them on the gutter so it collects the water. Then you get a vacuum, and you vacuum up that water. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's, that's, the, that's the right way of doing it. That's the right way of doing it. Yeah. And Elroy does it. He cleans all my streets here that I, you know, I did a GoFundMe time. I got scared. I got 2500 bucks like yeah. that to clean up uh, part of third. So we steam cleaned it and stuff ourselves. Yeah. But then uh, they wanted me to clean I said, listen, I don't want to be a janitor, I'm a photographer. I got you. you know? So I said, I was hoping somebody would just take step on, in, yeah. step in, but nobody did. It's, it's weird, but, uh, and it's really the city's, I did it to embarrass Bonnet. I did it to embarrass Bonnet, really. And I can't believe he, uh, he didn't pick it up. No, you know what? Bonnet's not embarrassed about anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, come on. This is really the city's responsibility. It's not me or the private sector hiring and asking for donations. But there's a need for it because of all the money I got. Yeah. You know, and especially you got people like uh, Bush. What's his name? Um, that Bush guy. Um, anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's. Oh yeah, that's the uh, David. David, David Bush. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him lately. I saw him on 
right at Larry's. That when the oh, bus he was, oh, he was there? He, he was on the other side, then he disappeared. Wow, yeah. So I think maybe, I don't know. It's, it was weird that he wasn't around after that. But. He was downtown a lot now, I heard. Oh, he does? Yeah, that, you know, that Skid Row area? Yeah. That's where he's at. Well, good. We don't need him here. Wow. wow. Well, let's see who the Venice Neighborhood Council brings down here next. Yeah. Where's that dude with the document? Walk right there. I'll be right back. Wow. Well, where's St. Joseph Center? That's the big question yeah. of the day. Really? A block away, they can't walk a block. And where's the security? Because they usually come around every hour on the hour. Well, I guess they have a lot of losses here, right? Yeah. They any good? Lassa? Ah. Uh, I don't think so. I got you. Uh, you know, I asked Lassa about the rats. I said, why are you promoting third for camp? Do you, you know those rats, Norway rat bros are, are right underneath their tents? And you know what? They wouldn't say a word to me. Wow. I have it on video. Yeah. They wouldn't say a fucking word. Damn. I know. And look at all the money they get. And you think there's an improvement here? <clears throat> yeah. The only people that are really doing a good job is LA Sanitation in combination with LAPD doing this. And that the, yeah. the, rat, the rats are also like 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 like, like in apartment houses. I, I lived on 19th Street for a while. And there was, there was full of rats. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And even even the, the housing department. I mean, you look at some of these uh, low cost houses. That they're you know Venice uh, uh, community housing. Yeah. They're all full of, of disease and rats. And it's just gross. Mm. They they're not good managers. Yeah. I mean, you got there was a time where there was a corpse in there. A couple of them. That was, it took them weeks to figure out somebody died. That's true. It was the smell. Yeah. Until they, you know. Yeah. So now they're, I'm not e even digging what they're doing. I mean, it's it sucks. Yeah. And, and again, it's all money. They get they get in 30 years it goes back to uh, market value. So it's just you know uh, you can leverage money in all sorts of ways. You can you can get loans from that and everything. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, the whole thing stinks. Yeah. This homeless industrial complex stinks. And, uh, but uh, the good guys are here. At least they're clean. And they're, they're protecting the neighborhood. They're protecting the homeless. Yeah, you know, the homeless have to be aware. They have to get off their things. They can't abandon them. Yeah. And, if this, and this guy's been here more than a week. I mean, I, I've seen his motorcycle. Okay. okay. He's been here for months. And, uh, so, and you don't know if that's even real. You know, oh, you know. Yeah. So it, it's hard. I guess you got to make it a point to move your stuff when well, they come in. Well, what happened if that wasn't his stuff? It's in the and then they gave the sleeping bag that belonged to somebody else to this person. Yeah, I got now you. Now you got a whole fucking thing. Well, now not only do they take our stuff, they give it away to somebody else. I mean, you know, they can't win. Yeah, that's probably happened before. That's why they. That, that's why they do this. Yeah. At least there's tag and there's some type of you know saying, hey, listen, we're we're gonna store it. You you have 90 days, you know. Yeah. Free storage. That's pretty cool. What else you want? I don't even get free storage and free. Storage Stores is expensive. Have you priced that at public stores recently? It was for a little yeah. space. No, expensive. Yeah, expensive. So, you know. And then hopefully they can get into the system where they can get the room help get off the streets. You know, hopefully uh, we made such a stink that the governor now, I'm hoping, would start to get involved with the homeless instead of just being a, a COVID problem. We do have a COVID, but the homeless is really a huge number of problem. Yeah, but you, you got to want help, though. Mm -hmm. You gotta be willing to quit drugs and, and quit drinking. You know, you gotta want to help. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You gotta hit rock bottom, but there's better places to hit rock bottom than on a rat infested sidewalk that basically your problems are now everybody's yeah. problems that don't deserve this. They're taxpayers' problems. And uh, and your disease can affect everybody. It's like, you know, we're, you know when it, when we're not vaccinated and we're not wearing masks. Yeah. What are you doing? It's like that bridge shelf. Yeah. You know, it turned into a COVID center or a sweating center. Just going. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they tell me that it's backed up and he has to go down and prove his kids. Yeah. Well, what difference is it then whether he's proving his kids here or there? As long as it's here. Yeah. How do you prove it? Well, he's got stuff in the bag that shows it that, that it's his. Yeah, okay. But yeah. well, so why does he have to go downtown? 
Yeah. They took his property and he got food with his property. Why would he have to go downtown? Let me go get Thank you. Then you can go right back home. Okay. That's a good point. That's crazy. It's gonna yeah. be, the proof is going to be the same. Yeah. And there's less storage. I mean, more storage for somebody else. Because now you got your things back. Yeah. Good. Well. That's just an my... inconvenience, man. And it's huge inconvenience, yeah. Well, that's a good point. There's so many gray areas there, man. But, anyway. Wow. Uh, I think I'm going to switch this and just ask them. Why are they not here? Yeah, it's amazing they're not here. Yeah. Oh, they love me. <laughs> they know you, right? You bet they yeah. do. I've been arguing with those nuns for years. Oh, the nuns? <laughs> well, they were nuns before when they had that place over there. Okay. The and they're, oh, they, <laughs> they hate me, man. But, you know, I call up the, well, let me see. Let me That's see good. That's good. You stay on top of it. Oh, you have to. You have to be aware of what's happening. You, this is, you know, start stop illegal dumping. It's just basically awareness, and then hopefully we get the support because of the awareness, and then action after that. I call it ASA. Remember that used to be film speed back yeah. in the day? So I call it ASA and a, a hack for a dog, a version of the out there in the world. Awareness, support, and action. Those are the three things that you need for positive change. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but it's going right here to Bennett. But, uh, right? Or, uh, yeah, he, he, where's the address? Uh, it's, it's super good. It's I can look it up. It ain't the police department they're taking it to. See, everybody get that confused. See, Police right over here, man. Okay. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me talk to Jenna. Wow, that's great. Down, down, down. You can yeah. see how she wow. reacts to me. Downtown LA? Or I call it, oh, this is, this might be, you know, this is actually the, uh, this stack. Paper parking and everything else. Let's see. Downtown LA. Yeah. Yeah. That's just a segregation of what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Right. He's going to ask us to do something. God forbid. Yeah, there's He's going to ask us to get up. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> They're not answering. <laughs> okay. Let me try a different number, man. I got three of them. Yeah, there's one uh, on the corner here. Uh, CBS Medical right Street there, with the uh, I guess this orange, orange post, uh, orange, uh, orange uh, pillows, and there's one on those. About 20 blocks that way. You know, why fight it, right? You know, why fight it? See what's going on here. Down the street, the left hand side is Gold Zim. Yeah, Rosenhampton. How you doing? Good morning. This is, you know me, Rick Swinger. I'm, I'm here on uh, Rose and uh, Hampton, and they're doing a cleanup. And there's a lot of people down here, uh, Lhasa and, the, and sanitation and, and the LAPD. And I'm wondering why, why on Street St. Joseph's Center? Because they need, they need some help. There's a lot of people out on the street. They can certainly need to see Huh? You, you do have a, a St. Joseph worker here on, the, on uh, Hampton? Okay, I, I've been here, I haven't seen it. I guess maybe they're closer to the sunset. Okay, I just want to make sure you, you have a presence here because uh, there are some issues here that some of these homeless uh, I need to you know, be corrected. They need places to stay, basically. But, uh, but anyway, okay, so 
Uh, do you know exactly where she is? Because I'm looking at the street right now. I don't see. Go tell them. Hey, Did she say why they can't give it back right now? Because it's already been processed. Once they tag it, there's nothing else they can do. So sanitation's uh like if our sex. Someone's not there and they'll come back. I'm just saying, you can't say, like, anybody can say, oh, that was my stuff. What's going to be the difference when they go downtown? You're going to say, that's my stuff. I'm going to take them and come over here. No, I don't have a number. That guy does, though. No, I just got a hold of the Zena over at the St. Joseph's there. They say they're here, but I haven't seen anybody where you're going to search here. St. Joseph said they're here. I haven't seen anybody. I love this girl here. She's an activist. She's amazing. Yeah, but I, I can go. I can walk around the, around the corner and then move further down. Yeah, that's what they do. They try to block out everything. Yeah, I've been at LAX for uh, four days straight now. It's been really slow. I'm not saying nothing's happening, but stuff happens that it, you know you know you never know when something's gonna happen. But I, I missed a really big gang fight at Terminal Five. They had these two uh, well-known gangs that were landing. I guess they were on the same plane. They were coming back from a soccer match, and I actually missed the um, the big fight, Terminal Five. Baseball bats. I guess some of the gangs called up their buddies to meet them at the uh, Terminal 5. No charges were pressed because um, no one wanted to uh, make a complaint. But that was huge. That happened on Labor Day. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, have to, you gotta be there when it happens. But I, I've been unlucky the last four days. Uh, but not giving up. I will get my big story. TMZ uh, works Terminal 2. They just sold TMZ yesterday to Fox. So we're gonna see how that, see how TMZ changes. Probably 11, he kept 51% of the company. I have blocked so many people from my channel. My whole thing is, if, when you leave a comment, you can leave, you don't have to agree with me, but don't be uh, be respectful about your comments. Don't don't be uh, joking or vicious comments about the homeless because I, I'd rather lose a a person. You can say what you want to say and not agree with me, but you don't you don't have to be uh, vicious about it, hey, Jerry. Yeah, real is the best thing. Sometimes it's hard to find a good news story.
Oh yeah, that's how it always works, man. I've always get all my big stories come from this uh, being there at the right time. And once in a while, you go to a slump. A lot of folks are saying, "Well, he's not posting." Well, I'm not posting because I'm. It's not like I'm not trying to get a story. It's just because I can't get one. I could have had one yesterday when I got home. Some guy was lighting fires on the beach. Yeah, that guy. I guess that guy, Matt. That guy right there. Uh, he has Mike, my, my, Mike Bond's number. How'd you get right there? Went through the middle? I guess uh, this way. But, right? I think so. So here's the only thing. Yeah. Uh, this area right here? Yeah. The parking lot? Wow. They just went around and went through the thing, went through the middle? Yeah, I guess the parking lot here. There's a parking lot for this restaurant. Yeah. It's, o it's opening. Everybody's going through the parking lot here, going through the middle of the parking lot to get a better look. Uh, yeah, man. Heavy RV uh, encampment, and it's strange because uh, Google headquarters is right here. One of Google headquarters, it's right there. So we found an opening. This is the back of uh, Rose Cafe, high-end restaurant. So over here you, you have uh, Venice Cop Watch, German in Venice, and, and Santa Monica Close-Up. Yeah, that was hard, man. But uh, I kind of like uh, went to the airport. N nothing was really happening. But I just kind of like stayed there for eight hours. Shout out Jody. Thank you, Shadow Jody. You're amazing. I think Seattle Jody's like my my uh, longest moderator. Loyal moderator. In fact, I know she is. Hey Vanessa, how are you? Boy, hey boy. Okay, so I moved locations there. I hope the stream is still holding up. Can somebody tell me from one to five how the stream is holding up? Because I, I depend on you guys. Because for me, it looks great, but that means nothing. A lot of times, it looks great to me, but not great to you. Many years, Seattle Jody. All right, thank you there. That's, uh, oh no, Mr. Bill, seven, eight. Thank you, Seattle Jody. I love going live when I can. So we got uh, German and Venice, uh, Venice uh, Cop Watch, and Santa Monica Close all together. Okay. 
I thought this was going to be later because I was watching Judge Judy on the uh, Pluto, Pluto channel. They have a uh, channel just for Judge Judy. I'm not crazy about Judge Judy, but I guess I'm a, I, like to, I, like, I like to watch her. Addiction is a heavy thing, huh? <laughs> Poor us, man. Gotta love it. Urine bucket. That's the hazmat team here. In the red hat. It's amazing to me that if you know they're coming, why don't you make an effort to move the stop? That's all I'm saying on this one. Just tuned in. This is home, homeless encampment enforcement in Venice, Hampton, and Rose. All right. Okay, you're gone, dude. West, uh, what's your name? West. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time, put you on timeout. You gotta be more respectful, man. You just can't say say something like that. Thank you, uh, Seattle. That's hate. You know, you wanna say something? You know, you're saying put take all the homeless people out of here. I mean, what, what kind of statement is that? All homeless people are different, different situations. LAX, a lot of people have jobs over there, and at night they sleep in their cars. So you come in this channel and you're doing that, that hateful speech, you, you're out of here. Are you Tristan? Yes. Hi, I'm Allison. Hi, Allison. Hello? Oh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm live. I'm live streaming. Oh no, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm on live. It's, it's live right now. Yeah, they won't give it to him. Uh, he tried everything. You know. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but I'm live though. If you, if you want to watch. Okay. I, no, thank you, but thank you for calling because, you know, I, I could have been uh, not here, you know? So, uh, yeah. No, I always let me, no, I always let me know, man, because, uh, you know, you know you know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, because, uh, you know, Peggy, has, Peggy has, hasn't reached out yet to me. So, no, man. So. Yeah. Well, I guess give it time, but, you know, it's like, at least you can do is try to reach out, you know? Yeah. I, no, but I'm good, like you said. I'm able, I'm able to forgive, you know? 
Yeah. I do. I, I stay, I stay mad for a minute, but then I realize, you know, God wants you to forgive, and yeah. So I'm, I'm open. I mean, I, I, I had, a dream, I had a dream about her last night that we were friends. So, yeah. Well, that's great. I'll go. Thank you. <laughs> Just, t just tell them I'm, I'm open if, if you talk to you again. All right, I'll see when you get here. All right, bye. But yeah, I'm going I'm to continue to keep working. Um, I'm working business and I'm working LAX. It's weird though. A lot of my videos I do, uh, LAX, you know, they a lot of them go viral, man. You know, a lot of them don't, but a lot of them do. So I, I basically make money off my uh, LAX videos, the ones that are viral. I got some of the, I got some good videos of uh, K-pop, uh, BTS when they first start coming to uh, this country. Those those are doing really well. The, the weed videos, the gun and TSA are doing well. And uh, I guess the my homeless videos. We have a certain crowd for that. They do okay. So I'm good. We have we have 90 people watching, which is good. Steve, thank you for that fifty uh, dollar donation. That was uh, helpful. The cats were like that. Missing Meg a lot. My ex girlfriend who died of COVID last year. Missing her a lot. Secret agent man. Good morning. Snoop, uh, Snoop Dogg, the exposure, I right, told you. Tell me, see, on Milano Rivera. Okay, anywhere. That's weird. Okay, let me let me look for it. It's weird sometimes. Cause I, I've shot a lot of videos. So sometimes I can't find them unless, unless I do a hard search. So I will look for that. Yeah, she's resting in peace. I mean, that's the best part about that. Because uh, I guess Meg had, a, Meg had other issues, medical issues. But it's weird though, because I, uh, I like playing spotting at night. And when I was uh, playing spotting, it was the day that Kobe died, Brian and his daughter. I was playing spotting just to, just to relax. I, I play spot to relax. And I got a phone call that she passed, so. I haven't played a spot at night since that, but I, I'm gonna have to break that and start doing some nighttime playing spot. Because the idea is I go to LAX and have my police scanner going, tuned to the uh, airport police. That's that's what I work off. People always ask me, how do I know what's going on? I'm making stuff up. Um, um, and I'm not. I, I'm going off the I'm going off the scan. Once in a while, a cop will tell me something. That's why I try to keep a good rapport with the police because they do tell me stuff. If I'm yelling, and cursing at them, they're going they're going to uh, not talk to me. I got uh, Chief Moore on Labor Day. And uh, he's very nice. He was talking to me. Uh, wasn't you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Very respectful. So I just, I try to be respectful to the good cops. A lot of you guys know how I work. Oh yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, I, I use a scanner, but when I'm not when I when I don't have a scanner on, I use that all the time. That's that's the best one that they have. 
because it's uh they uh even their website is good they give you a lot of the uh the codes but a lot of times if you buy the newest scanners all you have to do is put the zip code in and you get all your uh frequencies but yeah that's a great uh app i like the scanner because you get all the uh channels that they don't they don't uh they talk normally on like uh what's that one what's the name of that one? Oh, it's early in the morning god it, it'll come to me Yeah, LAPD has a few tech channels they use to talk normally on. The best part about a scanner is be able to go on all of them, but the app just gives you the basics. Which is cool, because a lot of times I don't want to carry the scanner on me. Man, my mind, my mind is going to blink. God, you get older, man. Your memory goes. Sometimes uh, with the scanner LAX, it's, it, it could be booming, you know, stuff happening left and right. Lately, though, a lot of folks have been arrested for marijuana. Not arrested. When you go to TSA, LAX is the first airport of its kind to allow you to take under an ounce of weed. They're still going to call the cops with you. When the cops get there, they'll look at it and weigh it. And they'll, if it's legal, they'll say legal amount under an ounce, let you go. But when you start, when you start bringing, when you start bringing in like, 20, 15, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, they'll arrest you. A lot of cocaine going through, pillanol going through LX. They're using a lot of kids now, like 16 years old, to go to TSA with the, uh, the methanol. The cop was telling me the other day this woman had all this uh, cocaine on her at the TSA checkpoint, Terminal 5, and she threw it all, she threw it up in the air. Still got arrested, they got most of it up. That's not gonna help you doing that. Well, what happens, not, uh, not really, but they don't really, uh, when you land, they're not really gonna stop you. You know, that never happens unless you get, unless you get in some trouble at the airport. So, you know, when you land, uh, normally they don't search you. So anywhere it's illegal, you can still bring it there as long as you don't get caught, basically. As far as, like, if you get into a fight with somebody, the cops will call, they're going to run you. But uh, LAX is the first airport of its kind. I have done several videos on it. You can Google it. It's, uh... Can I get arrested for carrying weed at LAX? I've done a lot of great videos. They're starting to pick up action now, a lot of those videos. A favor for a favor. Yeah, you need to use Yeah, my LAX videos, I try to make them educational for, so, so folks know. A lot of folks are bringing a legal amount to unannounce. Because what happens is they call the cops, and the cops will say over the scanner, legal amount, and then you're good to go. Hey, better fly. But I'm not good on 9-11, that's, like, that's a bad day for me. It takes me a few days to get back to normal again. Get to fight off that depression, which is hard sometimes.
So I'm in a big lawsuit right now. It's a federal lawsuit against the Santa Monica police for attacking me that day. It was a George Floyd protest. It was in Venice for about seven hours. A lot of uh, Caucasian people were marching, yelling Black Lives Matter. They hit the borderline of Santa Monica. The cops had it blocked off. So everybody turned around and went back to Venice. It was peaceful. But they were arresting one guy. They were all over this guy, man. So I was recording that, and the cops jumped me and um, basically gave me a concussion. They, they tied me with the plastic cuffs, told me several times I was under arrest. They were saying I smelled like piss. A uh, sergeant came, realized that I was media. A lot of folks say you're not media. Well, a lot of my stuff goes to the news around the world. I don't know what media is you're talking about, but a lot of folks assume I'm not media. A lot of my stuff I get is paparazzi. Paparazzi's are media. You know, a lot of this stuff gets picked up in magazines around the world, man. Paparazzi never get messed with LAX because they're uh, the media. A lot of folks say, you're not media, man. It's like, okay. But nowadays, uh, I would say everybody's media because uh, if you get something really good, all the shows are going to want it. So it's changed now. A lot of people that uh, do social media are media. So I'm really going to uh, enjoy this lawsuit. I want to see how the cops uh, explain it. I got it on video, my, my perspective of it. But uh, you just don't jump on a guy because he's recording. The sergeant was great. He made them take me out of the cuffs. They called the ambulance. The reason why I didn't go to the hospital because the COVID was like really strong back then. I was I was actually scared to go to the hospital, but I had to I had to go three weeks later because my head was hurting for like uh, it just kept pounding. And uh, I went I had a I had a big gash in my head too. So when you uh, attack somebody for recording, and I want to know how you're going to justify that. But uh, it took me a while to find a good attorney because most attorneys don't, didn't want it because. Uh, they want you to get shot, hurt really bad, or even murdered, and then I'll take the case. But I got this—I got the one lawyer who showed my video, and he says, you have a good case. It's a federal lawsuit, and uh, it's going to be good. I'm not going to let these cops get away with it. It was like 5,000, man. You kidding me? Thank you there, Brent, uh, Brenda. Let's see. Brenda. Saying it right, guys. These ones are huge, and that's why you see them in some neighborhoods and some not. They go deep and deeper into Venice, but the rich people start on building the Well, yeah, I mean, if you get something really good, you have a good chance of uh, selling it or license yeah, it. You can license it. A lot of my YouTube videos from years back uh, get picked up for TV shows. You know, that's why I like YouTube because they it's out there and people can actually uh, license it if they want to. I gotta stay focused though. I gotta stay focused. Well, there's no really update on it because it's a process. You know, they filed the lawsuit, the federal, then the judge orders mediation. That comes first. But uh, I don't bug my lawyer. You know, lawyers hate that. So uh, I'm just gonna wait until he calls me. But, but uh, he's called me a couple of times to fill out certain paperwork. But I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. You know, I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna let him get away with it. You're gonna attack somebody because he's filming. And it, 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 what sucks is the videos. I put out like five videos of the incident, and no one really cared. A lot of, folks said, a lot of people say I was begging it. I, how do you fix something like that? These cops actually uh, 
for me. I knock me down on the ground with those uh, nice sticks they have to carry. Then turn me around on the side where I hit my head. Cuff me with those plastic cuffs. And we're all over my back. It's like, really? Come on, really? It ain't that serious, man. One show picked it up inside edition, but they kind of cut it up. But uh, one show did pick it up. Don't tell me if they're gonna throw away that dial house. That dial house is very expensive. I hope they don't destroy the dial house, because that's not garbage. If you go on uh, my favorite channel, it's uh, Visible People. He has a whole thing on uh, the federal group, the, the federal court appeals about you can't take people's property. So he has a whole article on that. Invisible people. Check out his channel. He's a real deal. Simplex, yeah, that's the, that's the uh, channel. On the scanner, the cops use. To talk normally, they'll say go to Simplex. You can't get that on the uh, the app, but you can get that on the scanner. Yeah, I love Simplex. They talk like normal, no codes. They can't to me. Put Mr. Gomez on uh, timeout. So you you know don't be vicious about it. You know don't be vicious, Ms. Ms. Uh, M. Gomez. That's vicious. You're on timeout now. So basically, if you come back in here with the same crap, I'm gonna hide your channel so you won't be uh, get any leave any kind of comment. That was borderline vicious. Wrong channel for that. You wanna be vicious? Go to another channel. I hope, oh man, they don't do it with a dial house. Can you do that shit? That's no need. I mean, that's expensive right there. Why, why would you? I can't believe they're going away with a dial house. You know? I can't believe they did that. Wow, that's terrible. That's not garbage, a dial house. They said they store stuff, but they, had, they had pick and choose on what they're going to throw away. And that was not junk. That's a, that's a very expensive dialogue. I know the guy who makes them. It's that old couple that got a house last week. They just destroyed the guy's property, man. That was, that was clearly not junk, the dialogue. So it's up to them to say what junk is and what's not. What about that federal... Uh, Federal, federal uh, Supreme Court appeals where you can't throw away people's stuff. Wow, look at that. Unbelievable. Mm. I don't know. Unbelievable, man. That kind of stuff pisses me off, man.
Oh no, they the 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 hey, that's smoking joking. No, that that couple got was placed in the uh, housing an hotel. And a lot of that stuff was put in storage. So they, he must have loaned that to somebody. But he's not he's not on the street anymore. They have the uh, the lizards. They were they're in housing. That that was uncalled for. UK, hey Julie. From the UK. Gotta love it. UK in the house. When I was doing my show back in the day, uh, I got I got I got paid to go to London and do my show at Comic Gardens. I was paid by Time Out Magazine, and I had a great experience in London. So that was about 25 years ago. Yeah, he's there. Right there. I can't believe they destroyed the dollhouse. That's, that really wasn't junk. And they let people come back, so why not just go around it? Yeah. Terrible. Oh, it's early, man. Amazing, man. Amazing. Thank you, Julie. I really appreciate that. Santa Monica Close Up is here. Good channel. Sad. Uh, Germany Venice. And also Venice Car Watch. That's what I'm sweet. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. That's coffee. That's coffee money right there. Gotta have my coffee in the morning. Appreciate it. I love getting pounds. Pounds is great. I was working for a UK company. They hired, uh, they would uh, use a lot of my videos and they would pay me PayPal, but they would pay me in pounds. And I, I would always get more money when they paid me in pounds. It was great how that worked out. My leg is still hurt from that. I had that incident with the humble guy attacking me, and I kicked him. I missed him, then I kicked him. I pulled a muscle, and my leg is still hurting. Not as much, but because I, I do, I do use CBD with THC. I like to smoke. I don't drink anymore, but I like to smoke a little weed with the THC to get my appetite up. A lot of folks say, "Well, you're not clean and sober." I, I'm sober, man. I do smoke. THC, THC marijuana to eat and uh, it, helps me, it helps with my, uh, I have a, a big case of arthritis in my leg. So yeah, but I, I consider myself sober, man. I don't drink anymore. That was, that was my big thing. Yeah, I mean, the business has always been like, I, I got here in 87. It wasn't the greatest place in the world, but I get used to it. 
nothing now unless some like, rich folks are moving in. And they wanted like, they wanted like Huntington Beach. They wanted everything clean and... Uh, Well, yeah, it's getting better because I'm, I'm actually taking the, uh, the CBD oils. It's not as bad as it was. When I kicked the dude, I was fine, but the next day, I had a hard time walking. I did the interview with Fox News, and I told the reporter, if you're going to put the story up, make sure you get it right. I don't hate homeless folks because of one, one bad apple. And he, he actually got it right. If you want to see that uh, Fox News story, go to Google and uh, put Tony Bearer in, and then hit news, and uh, the story's up there. Google Tony Bearer, and then hit news, and the Fox News story is up there, and the video. Hey guy, be nice, Star. Starlight, you're boarding on getting kicked out of here. Good one. Oh yeah, I got that over here, man. A terrible man. And my whole thing is like, if you don't have to agree with me, but be respectful. You know, you say something without being mean. When you mean like that, I don't care about the, uh, you subscribe to my channel. I'll just, I'll just take you out of here because uh, I don't appreciate that. Don't have to agree with me, but be respectful. Yeah, I think uh, Carol Silver, the civil rights attorney, is working on a case right now because of the uh, Supreme Court. I think it's the... Uh, the Federal Supreme Court of Appeals rule that you can't take people's stuff. If you go to Invisible People YouTube channel, he has a whole uh, video on that ruling. But they're doing it anyway. That's why I, I like to document this stuff. A lot of stuff they can, they can use it for court when they do sue the city. You now my whole thing is we know a lot. We know some people are homeless and do a lot of. Uh, Dealing. I'm not backing those folks. I'm not backing the meth heads. If you're a meth head and you want to get help, okay. But I'm not backing all the homeless. Let's get that straight. I know a lot of homeless folks that want to get help. And those are the ones that I'm backing. I'm not backing the ones that don't want to get help. I'm not backing the ones that want to rob people and steal and do their meth. I'm not backing those. I'm backing the ones that want to go up the street. I'm backing the ones that want to go to programs. That's who I'm backing. See, uh, Seattle Joey doesn't play, man. That's why I love her, man. You know, she'll take you out of the room like that. She's fair. She, she won't just take you out of the room, but if, if you keep doing this nasty hate stuff, you're gone. Yeah, my, my channel, people say, uh, do take our comments. Yeah, I do. You know, so does YouTube. If you put something in a, a, a foul language, YouTube will take it to hide it. But uh, there's so many channels you can go to and uh, spur your hate. But uh, this is not one of them. I don't know. I don't know how to get around it, but it's on. It's on uh, video now. We got the uh, uh, Santa Monica close up, Germany uh, Venice, and uh, Venice Cop Watch. All here. LAPDs is in the corner. Starlight, you're gone. I'm tired of your crap. I'm, I'm gonna get rid of you right now. There you go, you're, you're gone. I gave you a chance to paint, you know, be nice, but you want to argue about it. So I, I officially put you on hold. I mean, uh, hi. YouTube has a function now. You can actually time you out for five minutes. Give you a chance, come back in here and be civilized. But then if that doesn't work, you put hide. Hide channel means you're, in, you're invisible. No time for that.
There's a big difference. A lot of folks use marijuana, like myself, to eat and relax. I got a... a it's, it's, it's medicine, man. You can't compare marijuana with meth. That's, that's ridiculous. I never tried meth in my entire life and don't plan to. But you uh, compare the two, you, know, you, you need to uh, check yourself. Big difference. No, city workers won't do any interviews. They'll tell you to go to the PI, uh, public information office. Oh, big difference. It's not, it's not justifying anything, my friend. You know, when you have a bad case of arthritis and you uh, smoke uh, marijuana with, with, with the uh, CBD in it, it helps me. It also helps me eat. When I leave the airport after working nine, I don't eat at the airport because it slows me down. So when I get home, I'm all wound up. So I, I, I take a few hits, and then I get really, really hungry, man. So it works for me. It's not about justifying anything. But AP2, that was, uh, wasn't hateful. Wasn't hateful. I'm not mad. Oh yeah, that they won't get. Yeah, you're right. That's true. When you're really stressed out and you come home, and my, my problem was alcohol, you know. But I do like occasionally to smoke a joint with the CBD in it to relax and get the munchies. But as you see, I didn't go you out. You know, you made it. You, you had a comment. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, mean or anything. You don't have to agree with me. Yep. Smoking and joking. You're right about it, man. It helps, man. I got a great charger, man. This, this charger that I got, I got it off of Amazon. I think I got it for 50 bucks. But it's got like a 12 hour charge on it, man. It's amazing. And it charges like overnight. Some chargers take like a couple days to charge, but this charger is actually amazing. Let me see the name. Amazon has it. So if you go, if you go to Amazon, hit, that, hit the name. Great investment. Great investment. Made in China. Okay. Great investment. Okay, we plug it in. All right, now we're good. All right, now we're good. Oops. Oh. I can't. I can't believe she didn't know though. You know. Yeah, I got you. It's sad though. I mean, why would you do? Why would you throw away the uh, the, the dollar? You know. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, that was really, 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 really bad. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of hate going on. Yeah, I got my, my lawsuit's on the way. My federal lawsuit. Those cops that attacked me in a video. That, you know that was horrible. No, that happened. Uh, that happened last year. Oh, last year. 
you got six months to, to do a claim. That's important. You got to get that claim in, in six months, otherwise you can't sue him. I had, I had an original lawyer, he backed out. Like, it's only like three, 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 weeks, three weeks left of the claim to file a claim. I filed a claim, but it was hard to find a lawyer. But I found, he saw the, one lawyer saw the video, and the way he does is sue cops as well. He said, we won't do state, we'll do federal. Because state, you may win, but the uh, jury may give you a lower amount because it's a taxpayer. So he, he knows what he's doing. And it's on the front? Well, it, it's filed already, but so there's a mediation that they put, the, the, uh, the court, they, they uh, tell you you have, to do, you have to do mediation. That's coming up soon. So we'll try, we'll try to get a, a amount, a price amount. But he's willing to go to court all the way. Oh, yeah, the one at the Yeah. But that, that was ridiculous. It was a seven hour protest in Venice, seven hours of white people yelling black lives matter. You're never going to see that again, white people yelling black lives matter like that. That ain't happening, okay? And uh, we got to Santa Monica out, and they blocked the way to Santa Monica. So that, they just turned around and went the other way. Oh no, that, that was a, no, that was ridiculous, man. And then the whole thing with that was um, the people that were across the street that were walking, they didn't mess with them. This is the protest, man. You know, but if you're media, they can uh, that doesn't no, apply to you. Yeah, that, that happened downtown. I was doing the protest downtown, and then they, they locked me up. Uh, the cops locked me up. I broke uh, the, the curfew, but I couldn't get out. There was no way to get out of there. There was no buses, there was no cabs, there was nothing, man. I was at a taco stand, man, you know? And uh, they came and swooped us up, man. But they let, they let me, yeah, they, I was, and I was live streaming. So I got that I got that on live streaming, but they let me go in a couple hours, though. So they didn't, um, they just detained you? No, they, they arrested me. Uh, then the uh, lawyer's girl got involved, and they, they dropped the charges. Yeah. But there was no way to get out of there, man. It's scary, it's scary down there downtown at night. You know what I mean? It's really, because you you stuck. Where were you? I was like uh, I was right by the uh, the courthouses and stuff. Oh, by City Hall. Yeah. He's somebody uh, that's scary looking. I look at LAX, I'm able to uh, record the FBI, DEA. They're, they're, they're used to me now because I actually sued them because I was attacked by one of the uh, security officers there. I was live streaming. She, she knocked the phone out of my hand. I got paid on that one. And so they put out a, 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 a memo of don't mess with people with cameras. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the FBI guy, he's the top guy there. He brings up his new recruits. He goes, this is Tony Barrett. We don't really like him recording us. But it's his right to record it. So he, he gets it. You know what I mean? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he, but he always says to me, uh, Tony, is, every, is everything okay? I'm going to mess up. Does this guy know something I don't? You know. <laughs> so him asking that can be. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I know this guy, he's a, he's a customs guy. He's called a profiler. He can look at you and see if you're lying. He, 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 that's how he's trained. He can look at you, he, he knows. He can't keep a wife. Can't keep a girlfriend. He, I'm serious, because he knows. Where were you? Were you at the store? Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> the guy is miserable, man, the guy. Darn. I'm sure you get some fights with his family too, right? I know you're lying to me. <laughs> No, no, he, he told me that, you know, and, and then every girl he meets, he, he can't keep her. Well, maybe he'll find the one someday. He's like, you know, very honest. He's looking right now, but I, I, I said, you're looking too hard, man. Just like, relax. Let it come. Yeah. I, I met my girlfriend when, when she's alive. She died from uh, COVID. Uh, oh, I heard about that on your Yeah, story. so I met her at LAX, man. I, I, don't go to, I don't go to LAX to meet girls. I go there to work. Get it? She was a flight attendant. No, she worked for the airline, different airlines. Oh. She's all down in customs. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. One day she's alive, next day she's gone. Man. It was unbelievable, man. Was there an outbreak in her department? There was an outbreak, was an outbreak in Sound Valley because uh, Trump didn't tell anybody that there was a, a virus going around. Remember Trump holding the information? Oh, 
wish she got it early on. Yeah. When they didn't even stand a chance, they didn't know how to protect themselves. No, and she had she had other, other things wrong with her too. But she, she's a great woman, man. I mean, I'm sorry she passed away. And we'll do it. You never had sex. She never had sex with me, but I, I didn't want to do it because uh, when I make when I make love with somebody, it's, it's very emotional. Get it? Yeah, and you got to be able to deal with that. So I, I like the, I like things the way they were. You know, I didn't want to ruin it. And then maybe that would have been painful if you did, and then she Yeah, but, but we were the best of friends. She kept pressuring me too. Now I know how girls feel when, when men pressure them. I now know how it is. Yeah. Why they cut it out? Uh huh? They cut a hole out. Oh yeah, man. Because they, they're gonna do away with it anyway. So yeah, so why cut the hole? They're vicious. Oh, that's right, because they're going to separate that. Somebody here? Oh. Throw the trash, or the trash. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Jenny, how you doing there? Hey, you don't care it's a COVID hot spot down here? It's not about being like, like CNN. YouTube will take it take it out. YouTube puts a lot of comments out. If it's bad wording, YouTube will put it to hide the comment. No, I, I like my, my channel to be uh, respectful to the homeless, because if you allow one hateful comment, then it spreads. I've seen many channels that are leaving it in, and people just keep coming in with, with horrible sayings. So you can say what you want about First Amendment and all that, but YouTube is the first one. And you can actually lose your channel, too. I lost, uh, I got a strike once. I had a video of this really hot woman at LAX. It got like two, two or three million hits over there. It was up there for eight years. But I didn't check the comments, and the comments were like getting nasty and ugly. So they, they took the video down and gave me a strike. So I was like, I, I, I watched the comments, man. You know. You can think whatever you want to think, buddy. You know. I like, uh, okay, what, what's your name? Your name is, uh, Clothing Line? Guess what? You're gone. Deal with that, dude. I'll take you out, too. How's that? Yeah, now, now I'm like seeing it. Now I'm like seeing it. You're gone, dude. If you actually think that Starlight was uh, being, wasn't saying anything hateful, then you got nothing coming. I don't actually, I don't care about the hits anymore. I just, I just don't, my, my LAX videos do well, and uh, that's, that's all. I'm not, in, I'm not in here to argue with anybody, but if you want an argument, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take you out of the room. Come in here to argue with me, you, you're gonna be gone. I ain't got time for that. Not that serious. People, I mean, I did a video the other day of the LAPD trying to serve a uh, search warrant, and somebody had the nerve to put on my my on the comments, clickbait. How's it clickbait? You know, the cops were, were trying to serve a warrant and they left. You know, but they're gonna put clickbait. It's like that's ridiculous. Clickbait. I don't I don't need the clickbait. Yeah, invisible. Yeah, invisible. Invisible people's channel is the real deal. Like my your video on my channel has like maybe. 1,300 hits, but on this channel has, uh, like you're saying, 100,000 hits. That's why I wanted to hook you up with him, because uh, he has more of a, a voice than me. And uh, I'm glad he did it. Yeah, yeah. So this, this is the one that's actually... So this is... Here it is. 
Oh, okay, three thousand. Uh, okay, ninety thousand. Who's that? That is uh, hey, 19, 1969 mile. That was a good year. That's the year that my 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 favorite baseball team won the World Series. The New York Mets is my favorite baseball team, and they won the World Series in 1969. I remember that. I was like ten. That's the year they walked the moon, right? Yeah. Thank God for my cat, man. I'm serious. Thank God for my cat. Yeah, I teach him to be the black cat. She's an amazing cat, man. I got her from the uh, West LA Animal Shelter. But Abby was uh, dying by uh, Abyssinians. I had her for 21 years. Then I had the man Coon Yoda, that was his girlfriend. So she was like suffering, so I had to put her to sleep. So I went to the West uh, LA Animal Shelter and I saw all these cats. There's like maybe 80 cats lined up and Tina Marie was on the bottom. But all the other cats were teenagers, kittens, cute. But there's, there was this one cat on the bottom that was Tina. And she's, uh, she's had many uh, litten, uh, kittens, litters. She's kind of overweight, old, and nobody wanted that cat. So I took that cat. Legs like I, she was going to me. Take the other cats? No, I'm taking this one. This one needs me, I need her. And she's like the best cat in the world. Wow, a lot of needles. Awful. A lot of needles. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm dealing with it one day at a time. I can't believe all those needles there, wow. Oh yeah, I stay strong. One day at a time, I've got, and uh, I, I try to stay busy. Get away from me! 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 Get away from me, yuppie! Get away from me, yuppie! Take your fucking bullshit back somewhere else. Pull over here, I love you, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course they do. They need a uh, mental health services. That's the key, you know, they need that. Really important. Can I say it again? Anyone can be homeless, lose your job, get sick, and then you're on the street. The way it is now, a lot of you, you see a lot of old folks on the street. That's scary. People in the 80s, you know, in the 70s. That's a scary thing. That is a, that's, that's full of urine, I think. I mean, it's late night. And at least he's, he's peeing in a bottle and not on, on the street. You know what I mean? So he's making an effort. Those are all needles there. He's picking up. That's the hazmat team. My problem when you, when you stream, you don't get it as clear as, as you would on 4K, but I like to bring you guys in on the sweeps live. That's why I do live streams. Heavy law enforcement uh, presence in Alasa.
I hope so. We need more stimulus checks. I actually bought this phone with, this, with the uh, last stimulus check. President Joe Biden said, uh, spend it. So I, I bought this new phone and uh, wisely. We got another, we got another stimulus check coming. What? They're, they're talking about it now in Washington. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's sad. YouTube is weird because uh, you can do a video that goes viral, like, like, like my airport videos make money, and uh, you get a really big check and then get a little, little small check. It's, it's weird. Hey there, uh, so ask, let's see, uh, ask uh, Bro's Pictures. Hello there, I hope I'm saying it right. How are you doing there? But I was watching uh, Judge Judy this morning. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna happen like 9.30, you know? Yeah. They, they, I would appreciate that because, uh, wow. I think at this point, all you can do is pray. I mean, lawyer, the lawyers are uh, involved with this. This Carol Sober, the civil rights attorney, she substituted the city many times, got payouts that went to went to a lot of the homeless people. So uh, people uh, people always say to me, uh, how, "How are you helping?" What well, the videos? The videos do help. The city watches my stuff. It can't help everybody, but a lot of times uh, they go somebody out of a hotel, see the video, and then and then house them. So if I can help ten people, I'm doing my job. He's a uh, part of the hazmat team. He takes away all the needles, the urine. You know, that they're a special agency that does that. That's why they wear the red hats. I'll try to get the name when I get down, further down. I know it's, uh, it's LA Sanitation. Uh, has my team as a private uh, company. Oh yeah, you're right. I agree with you on that one. All right, gonna take the, the tenth in action. Wow. Tomorrow we'll be uh, we're going back to the third and rows tomorrow, so we will be covering that.
Clean Harbors, yeah, that's the name of it. Clean Harbors. You're right, my friend. Well, thank you, Shannon and Jody, for your help. Like always, you did a great job. Yeah, this, this, this could be a little three hours this week. You don't know how long it's gonna take, but thank you for coming in. Until next time, Seattle Jody. LPD and uh, Lhasa. Lhasa, uh, I think they, get, they, they feed people and they, they try to find you some kind of hotel or something. But no, a lot, of, a lot of them did. A lot of them got uh, not housing hotels and they're, they're being put in the hotels to find them housing. But that was more or less on the beach. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Well, it's, it's going to get bad right now because, you know, a lot of folks didn't pay rent during the COVID and now a lot of them are being evicted. And uh, we, knew it was, we knew it was coming once we get back to normal, I guess, but it's not back to normal. Well, yeah, they're right up on the street. But I actually believe, though, a lot of folks uh, are getting unemployment and they should have paid the landlord something. A lot of people are telling the landlord to go to hell. So now the landlord is going to uh, retaliate by getting rid of you. There's a channel I call Invisible People on YouTube. It's my favorite channel, Mark. That's a great channel. You can go on that channel and he can tell you how you can help. Uh, he actually got hired by YouTube and has a YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube is back up. He has a, close to a million, a million subscribers, not over a million. But uh, he's the real deal. Invisible People. Check that channel out, people. He has a whole thing on the, uh, the Federal Appeals Supreme Court ruling on you can't take both these stuff from the homeless. Thank you, Kelly. I appreciate it. But people, people, they love to hate on me because I don't, I don't take any crap. You know. Yeah, yeah. You, you, uh, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. Y, U, L, Y, A, man. To all the kids out there, stay in school. Thank you, Julia. Hey, no, but I'm, I'm saying a lot of folks that I don't follow the narrative, they want me to hate on the homeless. When I got attacked by a homeless person, they would come to my channel and say, oh, you see, I told you. You know, it's like, no, one guy did it. It's like cops. I don't, I don't hate all cops. I, I, I don't like, I've had some bad cops that I experienced. 
Um, I'm not, I believe we need cops. I believe a lot of cops need training. But to hate all cops, that's not good. Because can you imagine if there's no cops? People always say, no cops. Okay, what happens if there's no cops? Crime is really, really bad right now in LA. Now, can you imagine if there's no cops? How bad it would be? It'd be, it'd be, a, it'd be a nightmare. Need cops. Gentleman bought me a coffee just now. That was great. Hey, Amen, Kelly. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of folks are saying, get rid of the cops. Okay, get rid of the cops, and now what? <laughs> yeah, my channel, a lot of folks call me a bootlicker. He's like, because I get along with a lot of the cops. Like, okay, call me what you like. I talk to a lot of cops, man. A lot of cops tell me stuff they shouldn't be telling me. I get along with a lot of good cops, man. And, uh, the folks that have been following me over the years know I will I will I will cuss cop out. I'm not there. Scott, I'm, I'm gonna do worse than that. You come in here with all that, that bull. Guess what? I'm taking you out. All right, I'm gonna hide your channel. You come here with that crap when I start trouble. I'm not here to start trouble, man. Um, but now you're gone. Take that to the bank, dude. Try to keep. I'm trying to keep it drama free, man. Yeah, a lot of folks think that, but I'm not. You know, it's like there's good paparazzi's, there's bad paparazzi. They're bad cops, they're good cops, you know. But uh, I'm not really messed with my cops because I started shooting from a distance. I don't try to start trouble with them. If they get in my face, there's another story. Yes. You got some nasty ass cops I've dealt with, you know. And I, you know, a lot of my videos though, throughout the years. I let them have it, but I don't go off, I don't go off, I could go off on cops and get more hits, but no, forget it. Keep your hits. God takes care of me, That's, I, I believe in God and that's all I need. Yeah, good policing is, is the deal. I get cops that talk to me like cops, I, I don't respect those cops. Talk to, I got, um, last week I got Chief, LA, LAPD Chief Moore on the boardwalk. And he talked to me like a human being. He took time, he talked to me, and it was great, you know. You get certain cops like Chief Beck, gives you a dirty look, don't, don't even get next to him, you know. It's all about respect, man. Thank you, Julie. I really appreciate that. No, I have my uh, people that do care, you know, but people expect me to bow down to them because uh, I like or I hate. It's not about that, man. I got a lot of folks watching my videos, city uh, officials, cops watch my videos. And I, I basically, I try, I try to license my videos around the world. I've been doing this for over 20 years, man. Now, everybody's doing it now because they can make money with it, but back then, there was no money. Wow, let's see. Now, that was on Third Street last Thursday. Wow. Bucket of needles and knives and hatchet. Yeah, I guess there's a lot of uh, people using drugs. Yeah, I want to see if they have another bucket that can show us this time. That'd be great, man. Yeah, let's ask them.
I mean, I've had a lot of uh, homeless, Afri uh, homeless applicants telling me I should be talking to you. I said, wow, that's a great guy. I said, I've been known this man. This man uh, has good few points. But you can't tell me who to talk to and not to talk to. Right. I I'm my own person. You get yeah. my drift? Yeah. I've always been my own person. Well, that doesn't surprise me. I'm against the homeless industrial complex. You know, the St. Joseph. They don't understand that, hey, I'm trying to get them rat through trash cans. We've yeah. got a councilman that's, that's basically ignoring the health safety needs of not only the homeless but the local residents yeah and uh and i am against unregulated camping on hampton and third because of the storm drinks and yeah all this stuff goes down to the beach and children are at risk yeah yeah okay and they don't like that because they see that oh you're trying to get us off these two streets yeah i am i'm i yes i think you're a danger to children because of the storm drains well you gotta get well you gotta get both sides you do you, you have to get both sides but you know and i don't really i'm not on either side. I'm just telling facts. These are facts. I'm yeah. not trying to throw out propaganda no. and try to change your opinion. I'm just saying, listen, this is what we're finding. We have a right to know about the needle count, which, by the way, is not public. Is that? No, they don't have a needle. You know, you ask Bid. They, one time that they, they reported her needle count, and then they stopped doing it. Wow. So that's not right. Yeah. But as you know, you got attacked by a homeless person recently, and that's, you know, a misunderstanding, most likely, but I mean, you don't deserve that either. Oh, no. But it happens. Well, it happens. It happens. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, but this is, this is historic, and I think that, you know, you've got to be commended for covering this, putting your ass on the line, because people can misinterpret what you're doing, too. Yeah. It's like they misinterpret that's true. what I'm doing. That's true. So, uh, and the, boy, and we're just like, uh, we're at the social media. Wait till the news media comes in there. They have to hire bodyguards. Well, they do, yeah. You know yeah, that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dateline did. They had an undercover uh, bodyguard. Wow. And then, of course, you know, uh, Larry, all the 30 press, there was bodyguards there to protect yeah. not only Larry, but the press. Yeah. I mean, and they go after the press. So this is America that goes after the freedom of right of the press? Come on. Well, a lot of times I, I cover a couple of events downtown, and I won't, I won't record with my, with my big camera. I, I got a seven thousand dollar camera, but then you're like, uh, you get attacked. I, what do you think I've got? Same thing. Yeah. I've got I've got my you know six hundred millimeter with my Canon, you know, but I don't use it. I use this. That's what you the need. Same you blend in. Yeah, and even so. Let's see what he said. Uh, thanks, Tony. I talked to cops too. It's quite something because many police officers don't have trouble with rent or mortgages themselves, so they don't get why you can't pay a high. Yeah, good point there, man. Good point. You hear about the uh, drug overdose on Venice Boardwalk and the cops came down and gave him uh, Narcon and saved his life? What was that? It's either today or yesterday. Okay. Yeah, West Side Current covered it. I just posted it on Is that during the day? Huh? Is that during the day or evening? Uh, you know, I don't know. Let me, I haven't, I'm so busy. I <laughs> read the article. Yeah. But it's in West Side Current. Okay. And uh, I posted it on my, I share my stuff. I've shared your stuff on my site. So I share, my, my site's kind of a... Um, Who's your site? It's stuff illegal dumping in Venice Beach. Okay. And I'm going after Mike Bonnet, really, you know, and because uh, I, I feel that his failed policies have really is detrimental to what we're going through right now, you know, and Proposition 47. Uh, you know, we see this in real time every day, and he doesn't come and ask the residents. How come he doesn't show himself? Because he's chicken. Because, you know, you know, Bill Wolfenthal was young, so. Bill Wolfenthal. Yeah, he, he showed up. Yeah, I like, we all like him. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't give all his policies, but his, his door was always open. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, well, Vaughn is close as up. He doesn't even go to Zoom meetings with the Venice uh, neighborhood. That's amazing, man. Yeah. I mean, Bill would. I know. You know, Bill. I know. Uh, yeah, well, because this is all hidden. He doesn't, he likes to control the press. Okay. He can't though. But he can't. But he tried with Joe Venice at the beginning. He tried with Argonaut. He tried with Elliot. I mean, he, does, he is somewhat successful. I mean, the whole uh, neighborhood uh, town hall was controlled. He brought in activists from out of the, oh. you know, out of Venice, to, and to control the media. And everybody saw through it. The media, especially the media. Yeah. And uh, so that's what we're dealing with. That's why there's a recall bombing 
initiative going on, and we've already got 60 or 70 percent of the signatures needed. So you might be going, right? Oh, yeah, well, we have till November, and we've already collected so many, so I got it's, you. it's good. I mean, a lot of people haven't handed them in yet. And uh, have you signed? <laughs> not yet. Okay, not yet. Well, you should. If you want to, I, 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 I'm going to sign it. Because my, my whole thing is like... Um, being neutral? Uh, no, that's not about being no. neutral, man. It was, it, was, it, was about, it was about Bill Rosenthal. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, uh, good. he was we dying like on his deathbed. And they let me come in there and tape it. Oh, you did? They let, they, they, I was about, the, the door was always open, man. You know, I, I was, I was uh, given a call when they, they brought him to, to, to have a couple of sips of liquor. He wasn't allowed to drink, but they let him have a couple of sips. Oh, of course, yeah. And then, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was an amazing yeah. guy, but uh, he actually told uh, Mike Bond. Well, Mike Bond was his protege, wasn't he? Yeah, even if they had the one that... But it's unfortunate he didn't follow in his footsteps. Yeah. I mean, we all, I mean, let's face it, one thing is common, you know, is that the majority of people really like Rosendale, I yeah. myself included, you know. But, uh, you know, I certainly think that the politics have gotten, uh, you know, uh, too far left. You know, I'm a Democrat. I've been a lifelong Democrat. And I don't like to see the progressives uh, give up their environmental stance because we always had the high ground when it came to an environment. Now, yes, global warming is happening. You know, that's why I didn't, I didn't side with Larry. Uh, on global warming. It is real, okay? But the thing is, is that if you can't clean your own backyard, you cannot tell somebody else to clean theirs. See, but I, I know about Larry Olderman because I had a girlfriend that worked at the Playboy Mansion. She, she worked there. At the Playboy Mansion? Yeah, and Larry, Larry would always go there. And then uh, Hefner kicked her out because she married uh, Bernd Troyer, that, that major guy. She married him and then uh, he dumped her. Then she stayed with me and then she had a date with Larry Olderman. She's getting, she's getting all dialed up. To go. I said, listen, go live with Larry Alderman. So I told him. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, there are a lot of beautiful women who've gone to uh, the Playboy Mansion. I mean, no, true. You know, I, I actually did a photo shoot a years ago. He did? Yep. Yep. For California Film News. A long, long time. About 19 years. Uh, but anyway, you know, it, it, it's gone too far left. We need to, and the thing is that, that Larry, yeah, and Catherine, and it all goes to, actually the hero is uh, Soledad. She was able to, to uh, get these people over here and walk these streets. This is yeah. what our councilman should do. But no, he doesn't. But we got at least two candidates that were running for governor to walk our streets, and I got to talk about storm drains and pollution, drug, whatever. You know, we all did. Yeah. That, and that took courage, because you could see, under nothing really happened with Caitlyn Jenner. But no. when Larry showed up, <laughs> man, yeah. all, you know, that's where the hate crime started coming in. Yeah. And uh, so we can mark another thing, the reason why they should make unregulated camping illegal here at least two streets, because they're so problematic. Because now we've got hate crimes to add to the whole list of things that we have here. Well, uh, what about Google? They're right, they're right here. What are they saying about it? Well, Google's trying to be, you know, neutral because, yeah. you know, I mean, let's face it, they're Google. I mean, and it's not their responsibility, you know, I mean, to do anything because it's in the hands of our councilman. Okay. Our councilman controls LAPD and they control the sanitation. So if they have dirty streets, it's not Google's fault. Well, they ran, they ran, they, I guess they ran out Snapchat. Snapchat? Out of, out of Venice? Oh, yeah. Well, Snapchat, we didn't like Snapchat because we all like the Venice a Freak Show. I mean that was part of the heart of Venice, and yeah. I was I was there too, with uh, Tom, or what was his name, Rob, Rob, and he, he did a great job with bringing awareness to this you know awful thing that was happening. And what we got a Starbucks and yeah, no that Venice freak, uh, we all love that, and uh, and it's a it hurts me just to think about to this day that we lost that. Yeah, you, you can't find another spot. That I size. was always hoping that they would show up, maybe get the church here and do it out oh, of the yeah, church. Oh yeah, that'd be nice. You know. Or do tents or yeah. whatever, and uh, the way it used to be. Yeah, but uh, no, it, it, it was heartbreaking. And yeah. now he's auctioning off. I saw that. Yeah, Todd Ray. Really sad. He's auctioning off some of his stuff yeah, he that is. you know he he doesn't want to no. do. Uh, yeah, sad. Yeah. You know, so no. Uh, yeah, I wasn't behind that. Uh, but, well, I don't know there's thousands of people that got behind that. But uh, it was a good effort, and uh, and, and, uh, and he deserves to be on the VNC. Uh, yeah. Too. Uh, you know, he, he's a little bit more on the left than I would like, but, you know, hey, nobody's perfect. <laughs> he, he lives in Venice, I got? The, the, um, I don't know about Todd Ray. I believe he does. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, but the, the guy that organized the uh, anti-Snapchat is on the VNC. Okay. Actually. He lives in Venice. He was really, he, he did it in such a manner that it was just 
great. I mean, there's crowds of people that really, especially I was there photographing the last day. I went inside, saw the last show. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm, you know, I'm a herpetologist. He had some two-headed snakes. He did, yeah. Turtles, yeah. And that just fascinates me to this day. It's like the little kid in me that gets excited when I see reptiles. And, uh, and he had that TV show, that, that, that uh, reality show. Yeah, on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, no, he did well. He, he, he deserved to stay here, but, uh, you know, Snapchat made a mistake. I mean, everybody makes that God. It's Starbucks instead. Come on. Nobody wants franchises here, and we certainly don't want public storage, which is a franchise that took yeah. over, and that was a, that was Ruth yeah. who did that. Remember? Yeah, they, I, guess they, I guess they lost the bakery. Remember the bakery? Well, no, that's not the bakery. No, this is, uh, the bakery's a little bit far okay. east. I'm talking about public storage, that 1,800 um, unit yeah, next building to, that's yeah. on 200,000 square feet. Yeah, next to uh, uh, Third Street, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the all the big ticket items, the sofas and stuff. Most of it comes from those stores. Oh, it does? Yeah. Where else would it come from? Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. I mean, and the homes rent sense. from it. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. No, they used to live in there too. They live oh yeah. There. Yeah. So it's not. I mean, for a pollution standpoint, it's been a disaster for the area because there's a constant source. It's, it's oh, like a you. landfill. Yeah. That's covered. You just don't see it. Yeah. I guess people toss their stuff away, right? Yeah. And talking about rodent control. Yeah. They can't get in there. The health department can't get in there for inspection because they're all individually. Oh, locked. that makes sense. Yeah. So now we got to That's why there's yeah. a problem there. It's huge to, to correct that. There's so, no pass key, nothing, right? That's why I think these two streets uh, have to go uh, somewhere else. Because uh, it's just too uh, problematic for everybody. The pollution uh, and the disease uh, that you can get from these rats uh, is, is not worth the risk of allowing folks to, to camp here. Yeah. we got to move them somewhere else. And you got to do it in a nice way. you got to give them something better. And believe you me, if you give them something better, they will go. And uh, But we can't, we can't allow them to take control over our safety and health. There's no way. It's not a good policy. It never has been. Well, I guess they house the uh, that old couple with the doll houses. Oh, do they? Yeah, they get a housing. Good. Well, I hope everybody gets housing. Yeah. I mean, and this is what they don't understand when they talk bad about me is we're giving awareness to the people, and the ob there's obvious uh, solutions to this problem. Yeah. Okay. And we find them every day. Like we're talking about your owl that made me think about raptors, and then I saw this because I'm into birds. Okay? Yeah. And and then I saw that, and it's like, oh. Yeah, a thousand rodents are on our side. You're gonna love this. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and we were just discussing. So new things develop by us being aware of our environment. Even that guy with the uh, the bald headed guy, the German guy. Yeah. He's got a tattoo. Yeah. He yeah. Showed, yeah. Um, what's his name? Julian. Yeah, because I guess he can hear the. Uh, owl. He showed it to you. I should yeah. take a picture of it. Yeah. yeah that. You know that owl? I think it's the same. Uh, painting that Rush did on their Fly By Night album. Remember Rush? The three band Canadian no. rock group? No. Oh, they were, they're like our Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin went down and, and the, uh, Bonham died and they broke up. The next best thing was Rush. Well, maybe he, I remember and, Rush, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, they, on their Fly By Night is a big uh, owl. Yeah, yeah. Wings, it looks like that is a cool tattoo. He must, he must have stole the owl. He must, he must have stole it. Well, I think the tattoo artist probably okay. uh, did it from that owl. I yeah. don't know for sure, but it looked that cool, you know. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess everybody was digging owls right now. Well, I saw on YouTube this guy, uh, he had a, a recording of an owl. With, with an amp, and he went out there, not, not invented somewhere, and then he played the recording loud, and the owl showed up, looking at the recording. Oh yeah. So I, I'm gonna try that at night. I'm gonna go up that green in the morning and try to see the owl. Bring more owls in here, man. Yeah. Well, you know, I think that a lot of these uh, uh, raptors are flying in from Griffith Park. Oh yeah, that you makes know, sense. Because, yeah, they have. I mean, come on, they can they can fly over here and eat and come back. Oh yeah. But it's nice to see nests of uh, 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 raptors here and uh, of herrings. I mean, and uh, oh, and then here's the sad part. The other thing that I don't like about Bonnet. I first met Bonnet in the Biona wetlands. Yeah. Okay. He had did one of those walks. He doesn't do those walks anymore. I wonder why. Yeah. Well, I went down there last week, and with all the RVs and all the trash. They've broken through the fence. They're doing their sewage right into the wetlands, wow, and it's just terrible. Yeah. It, it, the trash is unbelievable. I mean, well, they got 45 RVs next to the Biona wetlands. What do you think is going to happen? Well, it's like a ghetto right by the wetlands, and it's destroying our wetlands. And another environmental issue that uh, our left-wing Democrats seem to ignore, and where's Hill the Bay? Yeah, where's Hill Bay? Yeah. You know why? Yeah. Because they're nonprofit. They're part of this. They're I told not to talk about the homeless. Don't blame the homeless at no cost. Because okay. that's the billion dollars. I got you. In. So now they all look like, you know, it's, it's a hard 
parking crack. But what we can do is bring awareness to the situation, and that's and that's what we're doing. I just can't believe they didn't move their stuff, the, the people, because the guy had the guy had the uh, U-Haul truck. He told people they he would store the stuff in the U-Haul truck. Wow. That's yeah. That's. I don't know why they don't know. Everybody knew this was going to yeah. happen. I mean, come on. You're on the street. Everybody talks. And I kind of feel that some of them just say, oh, they're just going to do that just for the publicity and make this look bad. Yeah. Because everybody knew there was yeah. going to be cleanups. If you didn't know there was a cleanup, uh, then you weren't listening to your neighbors. Yeah, I guess tomorrow's their street. Tomorrow. Well, the problem is, they if it is, they don't have, DOT hasn't produced the no parking on Fridays. They have no parking on Thursdays. So guess what's going to happen? Everybody's going to park there because there's, no, there's not a temporary no parking sign. So now they won't be able to clean the gutters. Okay. So that's screwed up. They yeah. got to coordinate with DOT. And yeah. I, I've called them on this many times. They say, get those signs down there because you get all this crew down there and they can't spray. Like you just saw that those guys spraying here. They can't do that if cars are parked there. Okay, good point. Yeah. So if you go down a Thursday, yeah. notice it says Thursday. It doesn't say Friday. So there's going to be a fuck up tomorrow if yeah. they clean. Yeah, and, and uh, I guess a, there's a major clean tomorrow on the boardwalk tomorrow, the Rangers. Yeah. That's a different story, though. You can't park on the boardwalk. So no. That's, that's easier. But third, um, yeah, we'll see it. We'll play it by ear, but they, if they really intend on doing a good cleanup, they have to have uh, temporary no parking. But, uh, but see, that's the disinfectant. See, and but unfortunately, that, if it's sprayed against the car, will take its paint off. Okay. And then the, the owner can sue the city. I got you. So they will not disinfect this, the sidewalk if there's a car parked there. Yeah. Thus, the no parking signs. But... You can see there's even a car over there that didn't get the message. Now, did they ticket the car? They should have. Maybe a sign. Yeah. But they did. But, uh, you know, it's so, but they're new. It's, they have to get warmed up. Yeah. Because they haven't been doing this for. Yeah, a whole a year. Uh, yeah. So, but they'll get their shit together. The guy's coming for the stuff, I think. It's been like three hours. Yeah. That's why you yeah, that's true. That's why you got to talk to services. Yeah. Street to say, listen, no, they do need the LAPD. This can't be voluntary. No. It doesn't work. It's proven. It doesn't work. I just want to know where they're putting all the needles. They usually put them in the white club. Yeah. Or they have a red. Uh, like, it looks like a gas can with a okay. red container too. Uh, right now, there's so many of them. They fit in the five-gallon tank. You got to think about it. You see those guys, you know, they have long pants, they have gloves, you know, some of them, you know, hazmat outfits. There's a reason why they wear hazmat outfits. Yeah. Okay. And so if it's a public threat to these guys, you know, it's a public threat to everybody. Yeah. And people don't understand that. They'll walk their dogs around here and then they'll take their dogs back in their home, you know. And, and if they don't clean it with disinfectant, guess what? You can bring MRSA back inside your house. Oh. So, you know, you can scream all you want about, hell, I have to move my tent. And it wasn't informed or whatever, but they better get aware of it because this is a community service that we all need. And uh, there's a lot of pet owners here that do not realize that their pets are tracking in all sorts of bacteria and, and viral uh, things that, that come about when you have trash like this yeah. on the streets. 
And, uh, you know, and again, it's common sense. You'd think everybody would understand that, but the fact is they don't. They don't. Yeah. And, uh, and, well, well, this, you know, oh, here we go. This could be good. Yeah, see, that's good. You know, there's some people that they are not obeying, you know, the, the, the yellow tape, and they're coming over talking to sanitation. Now, sanitation does not like that, and they get death threats. The cops are over there. Yeah. Limit the interaction between. Now, you won't see LASA do this. Okay? No. And you won't see uh, services not sweep. So this is a, a dangerous situation for, for the sanitation. And uh, we're finding weapons all over the place. And needles. Even a needle can poke at you and really screw you up. So uh, they understand there's a threat here, and they come, and then the threat disappears. Hmm. You, can't, you don't know who these people are. They come from all over the state yeah. and all over the country. And so, you know, it's really a crapshoot. And without the knowledge of, of this and, and to uh, ignore this problem, which we see Bonham do all the time, he's just putting everybody's lives at risk. Yeah. And, uh, and these, they talk to clean harvest, because they're the ones too that get uh, death threats all the time. I do? Yep. That's the first time that they, they told me they said, hey, we're getting death threats. And this was over a year ago, it's even worse now. And it's too bad because they're doing a service to everybody. I mean, it's not a big deal if I had stuff. I limit my possessions while I'm on the board. Yeah. And then uh, my tent should be easy to fold up, easy to fold down, and move out, clean the street, and you come back. But I, I shouldn't be able to block uh, handicap uh, or disabled people. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, that's. They need the sidewalk too. They, there's a gym that a lot of people use for rehab, and you can't go this way. If you're coming down a major thoroughfare, you can't even go to the gym because it's blocked on third and half down. You know? Yeah. And you're going to wait for that guy. Get a picture of uh, your needle, needles in the bucket like we did last time. Hello. Well, let me see what happened. Okay, thanks. So, uh, yeah. I made it in the Epoch uh, Times, so, I mean, last week. Yeah, see, do you see that red container over there? The back of the... Yeah. Okay, I'll just ran out of it. This is a video, too. I just ran out of juice. I'll take it. Damn it. Anyways, well, I'll be back. You're going to photograph it? Yeah, you, forget, you got no more battery? No more battery. I got to charge it. It's about one of those... Uh, I know, I know. I got you. I know. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so it's good to get both sides. If we get mad because I talk to him, but uh, he gives me the deal. He has, a, he has a, you know, he tells me his side. Oh yeah, of course they do. I know a lot of homeless people that uh, don't do drugs, don't drink, uh, they're stuck in their cars. If they're lucky enough to have cars.
Like you ever been on the red carpet? There's like a million photographers. Well said, my friend. Well said. Tuned in to have the uh, cleanup hamp them in rows. Okay. Yeah, it took about eight years. Yeah, my friend waited. Uh, he lives on Horizon, near the uh, Sour Cafe. It took him five years to get to that place, but he's, he's okay now. He's living good. But it, uh, big waiting list, like you say. Yeah, Peggy's all here. She's on the other side. We're, not, we're still not talking. They have the best ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm about forgiving people, but I'm not uh, trusting her. It's another, another story. Yeah, I guess you got to budget your money at this point, the way things are going. 
Uh, next playing spotting? Uh, I don't know. Probably this week sometime. I kind of want to do it at night again, but, but I haven't done it at night since Meg's death. I like, I like doing it at night because of the lights and stuff. So maybe tomorrow night. Uh, I plan on going to LX tomorrow. Yeah, this stream has been on uh, three hours. I do some long ass streams tonight. <laughs> Yeah, what I'll do is I'll uh, work at LAX. I'm going to be here tomorrow for the sweeps on 3rd Street. Hit LAX, and then I'll, I'll do some plane spotting at night because uh, we have in and out there, and across the street, they're opening up 7 Eleven, which is great. Yeah, I like playing spotting because it's like for me very relaxing and smooth soothing. Uh, 9 11, I was at LAX, I just sat there. I had my scanner on, but it was empty, it was nothing, no action going on. Uh, four days without a video at LAX. It's been uh, okay there. Thank you, Sherry, for coming in. I appreciate it. But you never know what's going to happen at LAX. It could happen at, at any given time. If you're lucky enough to get there, be there. You can get a big, you can get a story that goes worldwide. That's why I love LAX. There's so many different stories that you can get. Marina life. That's not really uh, my my forte. Because at least with the videos, I may be, I may get a story that goes worldwide, and uh, a lot of the TV shows will license my videos. I can I can make some kind of money with it. I don't I don't make any money on my homeless videos. I don't, I don't get that many hits to make any money. Maybe five dollars, four dollars here. Maybe a couple of donations here and there, but. I don't make any serious money. I do it because I was almost homeless. I came close and some uh, guy named Mr. D got me a place in Venice, TV bed, spending money, and set me up for a second chance. That's why I'm so heavily involved with this because anyone could be homeless. Other folks say, you're making all this money. What money? <laughs> what money? I was getting a hundred thousand hits per video on this. You can actually say I'm making money, but I'm I may get two or three thousand hits on the video. But uh, I have a steady clientele that likes these videos, so that's why I do them. And the city watches my videos, the cops watch my videos, so some lawyers watch my videos, so somewhat it can help. I try to get both sides when I can. That's why I do it because uh, I came close to becoming homeless, man. I was like, uh, I had a good job in Venice. I was a apartment manager for 15 buildings. I worked for two big time uh, landlords. A couple of bad tenants there. Uh, working in LAX, so I actually lost that job after close to 20 years. Wasn't paying rent. And believe me, I tried to house homeless people in uh, the property. And they actually took a few homeless people in, but the uh, ones that got in were good. But some were bad. Some were like bringing in meth heads. Made me look bad. So that was a great thing. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize how good I had it when I was a uh, manager of apartment buildings. Now I know that it was, uh, I should have somehow, somehow tried to keep that job. But uh, it's all right. God has, I guess, better plans for me.
Yeah, if you can send me that video uh, uh, to my email, and I'll I'll, I'll post it on my uh, my community my community page. It's uh, Tony Bear nineteen oh two at gmail dot com. I'll make sure it's on the page. Get it out there. Love to see it. Thanks. Yeah, I like my live streams because I'm not, I'm not alone, but folks can actually just move, move, move through them. They don't have the time to watch the whole four-hour stream. But you got to shoot the whole thing, you know. So this brings people a little closer to what's going on in real time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Venice Cop watched sent me a text this morning because I actually got the it will start at 9.30, and they sent me, it started really early this morning. Just watching Judge Judy. Plato TV, it's, it's a great app. Yeah, regular TV is amazing right now. I, you know, you can actually, um, they have a lot of great stations. I think they have over 100 stations on regular television. All you need is the antennas. You can actually have cable and the regular TV. That is corporate sponsored 
It's just as bad as a state being able to run. Okay? And that's where we have to... Uh, I was attacked. Um, I, was, I was shooting a... It was supposed to be a homeless encampment cleanup uh, illegally. And uh, it was like 20 trucks. But I was there, so it was finished cop watch. So they, they didn't do anything. So the homeless guy kept saying I was stealing his information, which I wasn't. I was shooting uh, 100 feet away real quick of last I giving out food. And uh, him and his girlfriend got up to me. And uh, he came behind me and attacked me. So I maced him. And I kicked him. You can actually go to uh, Google and, and type in Tony Bearer. And then hit news and you'll see the Fox report. Some guy got it on video. I kicked the dude. But uh, May called me in the morning. Told me not May, uh, Peg. I told her I was going to live stream. She wanted me to go uh, live stream it. Tell me she never even watched it. But after I got attacked, I didn't hear from her at all. And then I called her when I got attacked. And didn't hear anything from her. She didn't care. So that messed my head up because here I am doing you a favor by going. I, I was actually going to LAX. And uh, she didn't care. I think, I think she got mad, mad because uh, Venice Cop Watch got the video. He actually saved, he actually saved my ass that day. But uh, didn't care. So I said to myself, what am I doing? I forgive her, but I don't trust her anymore. She's here today. She's on the other end. I'm good. I don't, I don't want to hate anybody. But uh, yeah, I, I was hurt. I pulled a muscle. And it was like, it was like it never happened. She can't say she didn't know about it because I called her after I talked to her on the phone. She told me she knew the people that she was, she was trying to help them buying, uh, find uh, a hotel. But she ignored the whole situation. So I felt, I felt like I had no backup. A lot of the activists did call me later on, which is cool. I still, I still deal with a few of the activists, but uh, yeah, that hurt my feelings, man. Hey, Pat Fallon, how are you? Because if you don't have the backing, and you, you, you're the one that called me in the morning, asked me to live stream, and uh, she told me while she was uh, on Zoom, she could, she couldn't watch. Well, I wouldn't have shot, I wouldn't have shot a live stream. I would have shot the 4K, you know. And the fact that I was hurt and no calls. She followed me on Facebook, you know, she follows me on YouTube, so she knew what was going on and I actually talked to her. So that, that, that actually hurt my feelings. You know. But, uh, you know, I, I don't hate her, you know, no power to her. I forgive, but I, I, trusting is another thing. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the subscribers are great. I have no problem with my subscribers, man. My loyal subscribers, I have no problem with them. Like I say, that's why I do it. Yeah, but yeah, man, I have, I have my subscribers. That's why I keep doing it. You know what's funny? I'm, I'm, I'm coming close to 88,000 subscribers. Yeah, I may have a loyal thousand subscribers. You know, but I realize I do the different stuff. I do a lot of the uh, K-pop, BTS, people at LAX when they come through. I do a lot of celebrities. So my channel is all over the place. So people come in for different things. So I realize that. A lot of folks don't like paparazzi's. I'm a you know, I'm a paparazzi too. So it's been really slow at LAX as far as uh, celebrities. Team Z is still working terminal too. They get they get a lot of uh, B listers, but as far as the A listers, you, you, really, you really see them. They, they do have a celebrity new celebrity terminal called Celebrity Suites. But even with that, before the COVID came in, we still see A listers coming in. But uh, at this point. You don't really see celebrities, so it's really a sad state of mind. But uh, it's supposed to go back to normal again, hopefully soon. The restrictions are uh, not really loosening up. You have to wear a mask, at LAX.
Oh yeah, but that happens every day though. You have a lot of refugees every day. It's, it's a UN program all over the world coming in. Hundreds of them coming in every day. And uh, they put all around the USA, free rent, free this, free that. But that, you know, that's been going on. It's a UN program. Because I'm at LAX and I'm, my main area is uh, Tom Bradley, so I see him coming in. And they spread them out to different uh, states. Detroit, Chicago, New York, LA. It's kind of funny to me, you know, they don't really take care of the homeless folks, but they take care of people, folks from other countries. That's the scary part. I think next week I'm going out to the boardwalk like three in the morning with the uh, recording of the owl and uh, an amplifier. I saw a guy do it uh, in Washington, Washington State. He went out at night and had the uh, the owl um, sound and amplifier, and then the owl came. He was checking out the uh, the amp, so I'm gonna do that and try that. Because they're not doing any more the, uh, the sweeps at night, because the money ran out. So my only way to see the owl would be that because he's out. He's out at night, and I'm not out on the boardwalk, just hanging out three in the morning for no reason. So I'm going to do a video on trying to get the owl at three in the morning. We'll probably do that in a couple of weeks or next week. I'll let you guys know, but I'm going to get the owl on camera again. Because you hear the sound of the owl and you fly down. One day I was walking down the boardwalk being in the morning on the sweep and the owl I was on the bike pad. It was really dark and the owl flew out of nowhere. And uh, he got really close to me. I got to, I got to uh, record him a little bit. He made a, he was talking to me. He said something. I think he said, uh, hey dude, you're going around telling about you're the owl. I'm the owl. So I think that was about that. I'm the owl. What are you talking about? You're the owl. But I've seen the owl four times that night. I actually got a, picture, a few pictures of him, but he was always like, uh, get him really good, but I got him. So we're yeah you know, we're approaching 88,000 subscribers. We're at uh, 80, 87,953 subscribers. So we're approaching. Hopefully, I can hit the 100,000 mark uh, before the end of the year. Yeah, I might go right to the other side to see if you can 
Price for shirts. What's just of those? Oh. Yeah, I, I guess it's every Thursday they're doing it. And tomorrow is Third Street and the boardwalk. Twelve hours, basically. Twelve hours, and then I have a backup. I have a backup for that battery too. So I'm good for like, I'm good for twenty-four hours. I got a couple of small batteries in here that do well. So yeah, the big battery is good. And the best part about this battery, you can actually uh, charge it overnight and it's ready. Some some batteries, you, 
it takes you two days to charge them. This battery seems like you, you, you run out of power and it takes well, overnight to charge. So I'm really loving it. Yeah, that guy, that guy, he's, uh, he's gone. Don't, don't worry about him, though. He's all mouth. Yeah. And it's great he goes back and forth and being nice to me and being nice. Yes, how he is. Yeah. Back and forth. Yeah. I'm like, I'm trying to tell him, like, yeah, I want lawyers too involved. Like, why are you going to be a yuppie? Of course I want the lawyers involved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too late. Stuff has already been thrown away. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Peggy knows him. Peggy. Well, my friends, that was it. I, I, don't, I don't know if you're like to it anymore these days. Well, my friends, that was it. <laughs> no, but you're good, though, because I've seen you. I've seen you. Well, I have to drive, they clean up half of the stuff again. Well, you know, they I just really want positive change. Well, my friends, that was it. I knew from beautiful Venice Beach, California. I have Oh. I think that was I'm enough. Uh -huh. like the video, you maybe you want to give it a thumbs up, push you know? the notification bell. Well, Why do I always say that? Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel. That was it. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Just saying. No, but I'm saying, uh, it's not a personal fan or anything, but uh, he shot the video of me getting attacked. Because mm -hmm. I, I never I never talked to him before, because Peggy said I talk to him. But, um. But I was telling her, don't tell me who to talk to. You know what I mean? Yeah. She's like that. It's like. This is the thing. Everybody can talk to whoever they want. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like that one dude uh, that I was talking to. He's, I guess he's gets rats and stuff. That, that white dude. Julian? The, the other one that was talking to me. Oh, white man. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Rick? Yeah, he's like a uh, He's an advocate, but uh, he, has a, he has, has a side, you know. Yeah. yeah. We, we all don't agree on yeah. I think that's impossible. You, you impossible can't. You can't. Yeah. Were they on lunch break for a while? Because it slowed down. No, uh, that starts at noon. Lunch break. They've, they've been lacking it. Oh, yeah, that takes a time, man. You know, you know, I guess to get paid by the city. And the cops like it because they can relax. Yeah, because I've, I've been streaming for like three and a half hours. Oh, damn. Yeah. How's your battery? Oh, it's connected. But yeah, I have the. Uh, this is amazing. That's like this, this battery has 12 hours of life. This battery. Oh, good. It's an amazing battery, man. It, then it charges overnight, real quick. I have one that size. It takes forever to charge. Yeah, the, 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 the new ones on Amazon, it's, it's like 30 bucks. It's it, overnight, man. It's amazing. Because some, yeah, some batteries take like two days sometimes, the smaller ones, you know? Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like, you're still charging? No, no. It's, a, it's unbelievable, man. But this battery, like, it, it gives you numbers. Uh, numbers. It shows you where you're at. But this it's, one does? Yeah. Oh. You can't see it on it, but uh, oh, okay. see it? Yeah. What does 93 mean? Uh... 90 percent uh, uh, use. Oh, oh, that's the percent. No, no, uh, I have 90, 90, 97 percent to life. go, life. So I only use uh, three percent. So it's really good battery. Yeah. Yeah, Amazon is amazing. The prices on Amazon. They do have good prices. Yeah. Money. The problem with Amazon though, it's closing down the smaller stores. And they don't pay taxes. Yeah, they don't. They don't. That's sad. And I think they just became a trillion dollar company. Kidding. The first out of everyone not paying taxes. How come they're not paying taxes? Because they were a big business. Okay. I don't know if Google pays taxes either. A lot of the rich ones don't. Yeah.
and then they can use that money to go to space, you know? Yeah. Good point. Um, I don't like I don't like tripods and all that kind of stuff because it's more stuff to carry. I don't mind holding it, but yeah, it's more stuff to carry. Yeah, you're right, ten feet, good point.
that, 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 that whole uh, area there, those people were clean. Nice. You know what I mean? It's really sad, man. I, I, I don't know why they didn't move that stuff earlier. I think a couple of them got some stuff on. Okay. okay. On that oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that's smart. All right. It's only like three people? Yeah, because uh, Julian, uh, he has that U-Haul. Who did he have on it? Did, did some of them? There's some of them that moved this stuff in the U-Haul, but he, he, he was here last night telling folks to put the stuff in the U-Haul. And uh, he, was, he, he wasn't even charging any money, but some of them want to do it. I wonder if he asked. He did. He, had, he asked everybody. I forget our name. Yeah. Rhonda? No, he, 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 went, he went down to everybody's tent. But I guess they don't, they, I guess they don't trust them to stop, but now they lost the stuff. Yeah. The, the, the dial house was a disgrace, so, you know, the, the dial house. Yeah, man. Put it over here. Yeah. Just let it really live. sad. Destroyed it, man. Yeah, they got it. They got to have a hotel with people, a couple, that makes them. Yeah, that's best friend, right? Yeah, and uh, the stuff is being stored over there, and then the lizards are in the island's uh, pet, uh, pet shop. You know Allen's? Is that uh, the store? No, the uh, pet shop. Allen's? Yeah, they, they used to be on Lincoln, remember, uh, by Ross? Mm -hmm. They're very famous. Uh, good people. They're, they're storing the lizards in their shop. Are they storing other people's animals, or they're just... Just the lizards, because oh. they take care of, like, uh, snakes and all that kind oh, of stuff. Exotic. Yeah. Cause well, good for yeah, because the lizards, they were, they were traumatized last week, the lizards, I saw their faces. so scared. Yeah, and you hate to see that, you know, yeah. in, in the animals. Yeah. I leaned in a little bit to look at it, and it was... Oh, yeah, it's not, not good, not good. But it was the man, Dr. King on the bike, right, that gave them that ability? Yeah, Dr. King on the bike. I think, I think he comes from a family clinic, right? Venice family clinic? Yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's up the block. Yeah. It's uh, been a family clinic. They feed the homeless on Wednesdays. I mean, really good food. Oh. I mean, top of the line, shrimp, steak. On Wednesdays? Yeah. And they, they, give, you, they give you a lot of it. Was it his budget that got the hotel in? Uh, it came out. It came out of the uh, the family clinic's uh, budget. It did. Yeah, they, they get millions at that clinic. They, they're good to the, they're good for the community. It's too bad that they come out of the other budget for them to get. Uh, yeah, it's really sad, man. I think they're running out of money, man, because they only have enough money left, left for like five months, six, I think four months left. I thought, isn't there money they're not even touching yet? Yeah, of course, of course there is. Yeah, but, if you could just fly on the wall of money and see where the hotel is. You know? Well, they, they're actually trying to get, they're, but they're actually trying to find people housing, because I went to the hotel this day and I bought at LAX. And some people are. Is that the Inglewood one? Yeah, some people are getting housing there. Cause I, I snuck in there on the cover. I saw you there. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> he wanted he wanted me to, uh, to tell him I was there. So you can't tell him we're here because they're gonna throw us out of here, man. <laughs> but you guys were there like for a while, right? Yeah, cause I was shooting on the cover. Oh. You know what I mean? It's like I mean you were chatting. I'm like this. You know, we're chatting. You know. Mm, got it. Got it. Yeah. If somebody comes, I put it on pause and put it down like that. Is it Saint Joseph stuff? That yeah, Saint Joseph. Yeah. Around? Yeah, they they uh they're in there. They have offices in there. But it's a great place. They have the pets there with them. But I think on average it's sixty-one thousand unhoused people in LA. You know, we need more hotels. Well, they have the money because uh, I think uh, the, the government gave them all that money. Biden. You know what I mean? And they had FEMA money. Yeah, it's no excuse. No excuse. And these cost so much. These sweeps. Oh, they're expensive, so man. Much. That's why they stopped the nighttime sweeps because they were getting paid time and a half. You're, you mean on the fourth? Yeah. Oh. Getting paid more? Yeah, time and a half at night. Yeah, it's infuriating. Yeah, I hear, I hear the, the Rangers post the signs up uh, today for tomorrow's week. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. They were telling me uh, the activists they were saying that, that they have signs up there now for tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be the boardwalk and it's going to be uh, Third Street. They're doing Third Street on Friday? Tomorrow, right? Friday? Yeah. Yeah, so I hear. And it, the boardwalk is Friday's usually for cleaning, right? Yeah, but uh, they, they have the signs posted. So uh, we caught them a couple times without the signs, so they didn't do anything. Like 20 trucks, they didn't do nothing. That's when I got attacked. Recently, right? Yeah. 
The cop wanted me to press charges. I said, I'm not pressing charges. I'm not pressing charges on that guy. That guy has, has enough problems, you know? One time there was this guy who littered ahead of me in his car. Yeah. And so I drove up next to him. I was like, don't you litter. And he threw a glass bottle at my car. Wow, man. And so, I, you know, I had a picture of his license from him littering. Yeah. And then I didn't call 911, but I called the police department. And this was years ago yeah. before, you know, so much. And, like, I was talking to them about it. And they're like, you know, well, you could, you could uh, press charges against him for assaulting you because he assaulted your car. And I was like, huh. And then I thought about it. And if he does, like, somehow get a ticket, it's just going to make his life worse. But yeah. It's not going to make it better for anyone. No. You know? That's the problem. And when I drove up next to him, his whole car was full of trash. But there it is. So it's like, why yeah. would I do that? Because I saw the guy, like, two days later, he was sleeping in the sand. The guy that attacked me. He's like, you know what I mean? In the sand, he had nothing. So what's, what's the sense of having the guy arrested? So if he goes to jail, like he's just going to be released and like. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, he tried to apologize. I, I said, I said, uh, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, not ready yet. To no, I, I said, I'll take your apology, but I'm not, I'm not shaking your hand. That's what I said. Fair enough. Yeah. It's like Peggy. You know, I, I forget Peggy, but uh, I probably never trust her again. Yeah, you know what I mean? I yeah. And when someone's not there for you or something. Yeah, that really hurt me a lot. It hurt me a lot, man. Because I was home, like, I, waited, I was waiting for the call, you know? Oh. Like, like, two days, you know? I said, fuck this, man. That's kind of too. Especially when you were assaulted. Well, yeah, it was, uh, it was, was kind of, like, uh, disturbing for me. Oh, you take photos?
going on four hour live stream. My longest live stream was when I was, uh, these two guys, a friends are walking down um, Venice and his friend murdered his friend, he, he stabbed him. And I went over there, I shot the whole process of the homicide detectives, just the whole process, but it took like forever for the car truck to get there. I think it was like a five hour live stream. That, that's uh, that, that was a long stream. Man. And believe it or not, some people actually stayed and watched the whole five hours. I don't expect people to watch this whole four hour stream. It's good for the lawyers if they need something for a court, they can pull out some of my live footage. But uh, yeah, I don't expect people to stay in for, for the full four or five hours. That's ridiculous. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, yeah, I, I like doing this because it's uh, real time. No, no, no edits at all, and it's uh, thanks. I appreciate that. It's good to hear from somebody. You know, external. Is that right? External. I wasn't saying it right. Yeah, I mean, it's a good idea to basically get the stuff out of here before they get here. If you know they're coming. One of the homeless guy um, got a U-Haul truck last night. A lot of folks put stuff in there. Thank you, it's got a new service. Thank you, I'm gonna say your name right. They're along though, they're along. I don't want to stick everybody to stay in the stream. I just do it because uh, the lawyers may need it. And I got some subscribers, I like it. Yeah, my mother's not really a fan of my channel, I don't believe. She's like, she likes that dude, uh, Action Kid. She's always watching this stuff. We always get into it all the time. Like, okay, you want to watch him? Watch him. But uh, yeah, Action News she loves that guy. I always tell him, don't bring him up. You know, when I call you on the phone, don't bring his name up. Let's get into it because one day she said uh, oh he works really hard he's on his feet all day I said mom i'm on my feet all day too so we get into it over that uh action kid but uh i told her you, you want to watch him watch him but don't bring him up when, when i'm calling him on the phone I don't hear that. Uh, you're done dude uh, so yeah man Even though you give me a compliment, I gotta take you out because uh, you're basically putting hate here. Um, this dude, give me an uh, external, external, internal affairs. Give me a good compliment, but then uh, putting a lot of hate out. I let him go with a couple, but I can't let him go anymore. 
He's enjoying the tents being taken out. This is too much hate. You want to say it? Use different wording. This don't, I'm not. I'm not one to. Uh, to condone hate. Wrong channel. You give me a nice compliment, but I see why. You know, you're gonna put your hate in there. So I, I didn't time you all. I actually hit your channel for my stream. So that's why I did it. You enjoying this week? You don't have to agree with what I'm doing, but if you're gonna say something like a comment, don't make don't make jokes and don't have hateful stuff in there. Like he said something like throw that man's stuff, throw that man's crap out. It's like come on man. Maybe crap to you, but not crap to the guy. I mean, I lose a lot of subscribers. I mean, I, even on my, my regular videos, when people like talk a lot of hate about the homeless, like really vicious stuff, I actually block them on my channel. I, you know, I don't, I don't want that. You can uh, disagree, disagree with me all you want, but do it in a respectful way. I don't, I don't like people making jokes to the homeless on my channel. I don't like folks like, like they'll say, take these homeless folks and put them in the desert. I, I, I hate that. That's one thing I don't like when they say people say that. And people do say it. It's hate. But I do like the, the tool that YouTube has. It has the, uh, the timeout, meaning you, you, I think you get timed out for five, ten minutes. You come back in. If you don't change your attitude, then I can actually hide your channel. So that, I like that hide, that hide your channel, like that. Shows you, I showed you what you're about. Yeah. Uh, I guess the other guy, Matt, he's made about you making money, but like he's making money. Uh, he's bragging about making money on the uh, ads. Oh, because I make no money. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Now, people think, people think we're making money. What, what money? You know? What money? And you're right. You need thousands and thousands and you millions do. of uh, YouTube subscribers. No, you, if, you, if you get like 100,000 hits, you're making a little money. You're not making money off of 4,000 hits. You're not. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, that's, that's what you're supposed to I mean, all good ads. If you have good ads to put on the channel, you can make $40 to make some money. 
But that's, that's 40,000 hits. I make money off my YouTube. My, my LA video. Those do really well. It depends on what YouTube puts on your on your page. The good ads or the cheap ads. Right? And the homeless ads are not not, not good ads. Sure, yeah, he just got a thousand subscribers. He gives out subscribing stuff making money. He was talking about he made like six dollars. But he was talking about you, he was like, wait a minute, aren't you making money too? You know? Oh yeah, she didn't go off. She didn't go off. He's like this morning, we were doing plenty of each other. He's like that, yeah. He likes showing it off too in front of people. Like, I was kind of sorry he saved my ass with the video, you know? It was him. That's why Piggy got mad, I think. Because he shot it. Yeah. You always got a document. You always got a document. Yeah, but it, was, it worked out really good because it made Fox News. You know, yeah. My mother was home cleaning the house. Oh. And she saw it. No way. Without expecting it. Oh. And they used my real name, Tony Bear at Chip Idea. I'm at Puerto Rican, you know? So she, she got a kick out. And she saw it. Oh. Yeah. She must have been kind of nervous, right? Well, yeah, but she knows how I am, though. She knew yeah. you're okay. But basically, yeah, I mean, uh. But you see your son getting, like, almost attacked, you know? Yeah, Trying but. To fight for his life. I mean, uh, thank God the guy didn't have, he, he didn't have a knife, you know? Yeah. Did she call you right away? Uh, she didn't know. She watches, she watches this guy's channel called uh, Action Kid. He's an agent, he walks around New York City, live stream. I tell us, I don't want to hear about that guy. Said, you want to call me on the phone? Fine. But don't don't mention that. This piss me off. That guy makes a lot of money, man. Oh. He, he's like uh, 300,000 hits, that kind of stuff, you know? Well, I hope that for your future, though. No, no, I'm good, though. God gives me what I need, you know? It's like, I do really well at LA. I, I do this uh, because, like I said, anyone can, anyone can get homeless. Any given time. Because mm -hmm. I came close once, really close once. And this guy, this guy from uh, YouTube. Oh, well, he got your... Got me Place his the Yeah, got me. He, he must have gave me like twenty one thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got, got me a bed. I, I thought he was gay at first, you know, but he wasn't. He came with. He came with his wife. You know, the, the bed, the TV, and uh, Meg was there. It was great. This, this is a good he just guy. Yeah. So ever since then, I said, you know, you gotta, ask, you gotta, you gotta start giving too. I get money to homeless all the time, but I, I don't do it on camera. You know what I mean? There's a guy on, uh, on uh, the parking lot on Main. Old guy, living in this car, man. He's always getting money, feeding the homeless, and all that stuff. He's homeless, you know. And he's feeding. Yeah, man. So I, I, when I have extra money, I give him twenty or thirty dollars off camera, though. You know what I mean? I, yeah. And he wanted, he wanted his wife, so because I, I, I've seen you, without well, you seeing me, and I, it's amazing. You, you know, he was offered housing, but he don't want it because there's so many rules. He lives in his car, the, the cops don't know him, and he lays low, and he don't bother nobody. Yeah. You know. Lisa did a lot of stuff. About how she got housed in Brooklyn. And her roommate is an alcoholic. He can't, no, he can't do it. So she, she doesn't like staying there. No. no. Because I had a job, I had a, I had a big job in Venice. I was a apartment manager for like 10 buildings. Uh, two good landlords. I worked there for like 18 years, you know? Um, but I started doing more LAX, so I lost that job basically. And uh, I didn't know rents were so high in Venice. I, I was like naive, you know? So my friend had a place, he was going to leave to go to Hawaii. But he was, he was a serious alcoholic, man. You know, I had to leave that place. And I had to go to the hotel to hotel with my cats, man. Uh, motel six. But you gotta move every 30 days, you know? And I was running out of money, man. And this guy stepped up, so, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. But, but you're right, it's like, well, if he wasn't there, it's like, they're all so close to it. Good really close. Anybody. Can you get yeah, because you, you, fall, you fall into that depression mode, you, you're finished. Yeah. And you can't, you can't keep up with the responsibility that you can't build something. No, you can't. You can't, man. It's, it's like very difficult, man. You know? Yeah. And even with these cops, you know, something could happen where their family kicks it off. Well, they know it. And, and you know, excuse them. And then what if they get a drinking problem or whatnot? And it's their job. No, a lot of cops know that. No, a lot of cops know it, man. It was like during an uh, epidemic, man. I, I couldn't find employment, but it, it kept saying pending for months, you know? So, and I was like, I, was, I, I, knew, it, I knew it, I didn't have to pay rent, but you gotta pay rent. I mean, you know what I mean? Give them something, give, give the landlord something. You know, because if now you're not paying rent, they make them out to you now. So don't be young at the landlord. But I got lucky, Netflix called me. 
Yeah, well, they're using a lot of my videos from Britney Spears, my what that. In the beginning, I made a lot of money off of that man. So, I, I, got, I got a, a nice big check after that. That was God working, yeah. Did you get residuals? Is it residuals? No, it's just one big payout, but it, it, oh, okay. it, was, it was good, you know? Uh, it's coming out, I think it's coming out at the end of September on Netflix. It's Britney Spears' is a documentary. Oh, another one? Th this is the original one. Who, the Hulu, Hulu. Oh yeah, they called me too, man, but I, I didn't want to do them because I said I, I did Netflix. I didn't want to like double dip. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And hold out to the Netflix. You know? Yeah, so it was good. Uh, ABC uh, called me. They want to buy a lot of my stuff for uh, A and E, for airport videos. So you know what I mean? God works in the same place. Yeah. Very mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, anyone can be mental, man, you know. You get bad luck, bad luck, and you fall in it. Like, 9-11 for me is bad. So I made 11 top of the rotate gun. Uh, my friend walked the rotate gun on a tight boat. Yeah, so that was deep, that whole thing. So, it's, yeah, so 9-11. Uh, uh, well, that, that messed me up, man. And, you know, with schizophrenia, that can be all of a sudden. You could have those symptoms for the first half of your life, and then you could, you know, start be going through things. Oh no, and that it, scares people. That's why. That's why I asked me to leave medication, man. Because they gave me a uh, Prozac for about a year, man. But that, After yeah, uh, but uh, you gotta see a psychiatrist when you take uh, Prozac. You just can't take Prozac, but take it. The psychiatrist has to prescribe it. No, he prescribe it and, and talk to you. Oh. You need that. You know what I mean? But the only problem with Prozac is uh, you can't cry. I, I haven't taken Prozac. It's just numb. It numbs you, man. Still to the day, I can't. I don't take it no more. But I can't cry during sad movies. I miss that. You gotta have a good cry once in a while. You know what I mean? But I was crying bad. I was like, it was like a rainfall. It wouldn't stop. It was gone. The crying. Yeah, because of the uh, the Prozac. And uh, I couldn't eat. I lost a lot of weight. I, I thought I asked me thought I had AIDS, man. So they checked. So you don't you don't have AIDS. You're, you're depressed. So that was that was heavy, man. I try to stay around positive people, you know. If you're negative, I I, I, do, I got time because if the world is really bad right now, and it's easy to fall in depression. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna waste my energy. You can't, energy. you can't, you can't. I'm not yeah. hang around. No, because he, he wants to argument. Yeah. Because yeah. I literally was telling him, I agree with you, and it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> yeah, but I feel sure you got the. Let's watch it. Let's watch it out with you. Because he's like that. Because I, I didn't talk to him for the longest, man. I, I, I didn't know who he was. Peggy kept telling me he's no good. So I, I, I didn't. I, I, I ignored him. I think he's just a hot and cold. Yeah. But uh, he, he listens to uh, his dad. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he's got, he has a dog that lives with him. Yeah. He's actually a good person when you get to know him. Because I, I didn't know. Uh, I, I've, seen him go, I've seen him go off on a lot of people, man, you know. It's like, wow, I, I, need, I need to stay away from that guy, you know? <laughs> no, because I, I don't want to go off. You know what I mean? I, I, I've, got, I've gone off on cops, man. You know, it's like, because they, they, they think I'm all nice and everything, but when they, when they approach me and shit like that in a bad way, I do. And, and I, I, go, I go off, man. And it, it shocks them, you know? Oh, yeah. They're not used to hearing bad feedback. Oh, no. I hate it. And the cops that do know me, man, they know who I am. You know, if, if you're gonna talk to me like, like a regular person, I'm good. But if you talk to me like a cop, I'm not good. At that mm -hmm. some cops talk to me like cops. I, I don't appreciate that. But there are some that are really nice to me. Oh, no, no, I know a lot of good cops, man. You know, I really do. You know. No, no, you're, you're good. You know. Uh, Peggy was telling me that, you know, that's the, the, the mental and everything, but uh, he didn't seem me mental when you talk to him. He seems like he's got it up there, you know? But I think sometimes he's go he goes off, you know? Well, you know, he, he makes the system and that's good enough for me. Well, yeah, but, but, a, lot of, but a lot of that was show too, because people were standing there, you know? Because I, 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 I used to cuss out Germany and Venice all the time. Yeah. Because I know Germany and Venice for 30 years. You mean the thing with Germany? You guys had something that day, right? Who, me and Jamie? No, when Jamie was taking away on the burning. Oh, yeah. Oh, we had a big thing going, man. Furman. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, 
it was like it was so much hate going on with his, uh, his subscribers coming in my channel, man. It was like, you know what I mean? Um, I, mean I got a lot of that. You knew it was from him? Oh, it, was like, it was definitely from his channel, because they were coming in and mentioning his name. Oh, no way. And I explained to him, we talked. I said, listen, man, I've been doing this shit long, way longer than you. And yes, there's, 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 there's definitely some jealousy. Uh, and because, uh, I've been, you, you, you wasn't even thinking about doing this shit before. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, you're, you're a star now? So he, he got it. You know what I mean? He, he understood my anger, man. So we're good. I'm not saying we're best friends or anything, but. I, I, No, it, it, I think a lot of subscribers go on the stage and leave all these metrics. Like, yeah, they leave all this hate stuff. And, uh, I believe, I believe you, you can take that out. Yeah. I, I base all that negative comment, joking about homeless, uh, going to stuff in the, in, in, in the, uh, the sea. It's, it's vicious. Yeah. You know, but yeah. that, people don't want to do that because they, they want to lose subscribers. I don't care about that. I'll, I'll lose subscribers. Yeah. Well, he's a nice guy and everything, but he's new at it. But he, he still leaves all that hate stuff in his channel, too. Do you think he's saying you can get in trouble if you leave back comments? No, you can. You can. Uh, YouTube will take it out. You know, if, oh. and, and after a while, if, if it stays up there, you can, you can get a strike. Because it's strange, all these new folks moving to Venice, man, they actually think it's like Huntington Beach. They think this place is like, it's supposed to be like Huntington Beach. And it's not. People no, people that live here, that oh. the, the new tenants, they, they want to change the whole face of Venice, man. I, I've been here since 87. It's always mixed. You know, people came down to see the, the different walks of life, you know. But all of a sudden, they're going after the homeless. What's next? Who are you going to go after next? No, it really is, because if you say all homeless, I realize we, we got some bad homeless, the ones that rob and steal, but there are a lot of good people out here, man, that are homeless. Yeah. There's a suspect, I think the cops are going to 30 rows. Uh, Saw what they wet us. Oh, there's a, a person that sold something at Whole Foods. That's at Third and Rose. You know Whole Foods? Whole Foods up here. Yeah, somebody sold something, and now they're at Third and Rose now. So, I mean, I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Just let him steal something. Oh, you got the scanner. Yeah, you, you gotta have the scanner. It's an app, right? No, no, I use the, uh, the they, they, they have an app. You have the app? Um, I forgot to download it. Why? Someone told me about it. Was it you that yeah, told me about it? Yeah, I told you about it. Yeah. What's it called again? I'll show you. Can I take a photo of it? Yeah. I forgot to do it. Because it, it, anywhere you go, you can... Uh, Inside scoop. You, you need to have it on, man. Because especially if you go to a protest or something like that, you know? Yeah. You know what the deal is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Oh, okay. Let me take a yeah, hit the top. Oops, sorry. Actually, I don't remember seeing that. Okay, that's the one to yeah. get. Yeah, it's a free app, man. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, I need to get that. No, you gotta get that, man. Like, I got home, I just I got home from LAX, I worked all day, and then um, some guy was setting fires on the boardwalk. Oh, really? Yeah, but I was, I was tired. But you could hear it on the street. Yeah, it was like right down the street, but my cats kept, I was home, and my cats were, they happy I'm home, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. If I come home and then I leave shortly after, my my gold cat will be like, Oh yeah. Where the fuck are you going? No, seriously. <laughs> I got up. Uh, I was going downtown to the protest. It was like a uh, eleven. At, it was like ten o'clock. My cats are going. Where are you going, man? You know, you could be in bed with us. Yeah. You know. And it's so funny too when I get like the chance to sit down. They'll just like come over right away. Of course they will. <laughs> they know you're going out soon. Yeah. Oh, cats are cute, aren't they? Oh, they're great, man. They really are. Because yeah. I could be doing my hair too or whatever. And they'll be coming and they'll, they'll be staring at me. Oh, yeah. Like, I know it's coming. <laughs> uh, do they purr a lot? Uh, the brother cat does. Is he black? 
Uh, no, no, they're gray. They're white and gray. And they're both from the same color. Oh, that's great. Be yeah. better, man. Be better. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, they keep each other company and stuff. Oh, yeah. They, they gotta have company, man. We might have a Sinian die. She was 21 years old. Yoda is a Mancun, that was his girlfriend. So I had to get him another uh, uh, companion. And I got, got him, uh, I, I, promised him another, I promised him another Mancun, <laughs> but I put him on this black alligator, this black hat. Uh, <laughs> she's pretty though, right? Uh, uh, she. she. She loves him, man. But I found out later on she's a uh, Bombay. What's that? It's a special uh, breed of uh, black hats. Is it a, like a rare one? Uh, I mean, they're, 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 they're specially breed, uh, breeded, and their they're, they're coach has a, 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 a shine to it, yeah. and they're very affectionate. Oh, well, that's good. They lay on your chest, they give you kisses. And they bond them? Oh, they, not at first. The first six months was hell. You know what I mean? But uh, now they're in love. It takes time. It, it really does. I had a dog, and then I got my cats, and it took a while for it all to Oh, it's not out. easy, man. My dog passed and I have the two cats, but I can't imagine them being separated. How old was the cat? How old was, how old was your dog? 18 and a half. That's not going to tell me. That's a good run. My, my cat died. I was like, how, how old was the cat? 21? Oh, that's a good run. Yeah, it is a good run. Well, of course, I would want him a little Of course. But the way he says to me, you know, he has cats too. That's a good run. You know? <laughs> yeah. Cause yeah, she was suffering, you know. There's nothing they could do for her. Yeah. So I, yeah. I put her to sleep. I held her, and they gave her two shots. Cause the first shot uh, puts her to sleep, and the second shot stops the heart. You know how to cremate it. Mine was cremated. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta have to cremate it. Cause then he can be with me forever. I but still have that. We gotta have that. I don't know where he would have been buried. No, you, you, you wouldn't have had a clue. It's amazing, isn't it? And um, it was Lhasa uh, that told that gentleman with the guitar he won't get it back till Monday. Wow, that long? Monday. We may need to make money on the boardwalk. Well, his toiletries were in there, so he told me he couldn't take a shower. Oh, no. And it was like 10 feet away from him. Oh, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. No. Yeah, they're getting a stick now, man. The city. Because, uh, the, I mean, the COVID is still running strong, right? COVID? Yeah. So you, you would think that, you know, they don't care anymore. Yeah, that's sad, man. What's their plan to make people just end up with nothing? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, every week they're doing this, so I, I guess after a while you get discouraged. And move downtown. Yeah. Then when you move like uh, downtown somewhere, not not here. You know what I mean? Have you met Rodney on time? Oh, nobody. Yeah. Yeah. He used to, he was living in in Skid Row for years. He's he, better. For a lot better. A lot better. Yeah. That so Rodney, the guy that was uh, going off last week. Yeah. Yeah. Here he's taking that uh, PCP again. After after the week. No, before this week. Oh, before. But he, he needs like just to stick with his beard, he'd be okay. A, P, a PCP is no good for him. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I mean, the, the people are getting tired of him over that on that block. The people that, that love him. He's, got, he's going off too much. Michael is saying he's not doing something. Oh, did? Yeah, yeah, maybe he's taking more. To work with a trauma or something? Maybe. Yeah, but uh, they, gave, they, gave, they got him a new tent. No. Who didn't take it? Who didn't take it? Oh, they didn't take it? Sure. Remember this truck there? Oh, yeah, good point. Spot All right. Because this side got different treatment. Did you notice that? It was, it was the same uh, over here. Uh, the last people over here was over here, remember? Yeah, they here, right? Yeah, and they uh, got that alone. And then here they are now? Yeah. So you're saying Friday, tomorrow, third, third? That's what I heard from that. Like, beating people told me. Yeah, 
keep getting here like 40 minutes too late. It starts around 7, right? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but sometimes it's supposed to start like uh, 9. Oh. Yeah, but it's up, it started early. And third. Yeah, that started. Yeah, that started. What time that started? Early, right? Seven. Yeah. Take the spirits. And it's not like we're doing stuff off the street, we're putting it in the hotels. There's yeah. no problem solving here. No, they have to put they're catering to the uh the rich people that live here. Probably not for us. Yeah. So that guy is telling me that you go left. You go left. No, I didn't leave. You go left. No, no. Which one is the song? Yeah, Google's not going away. He's trying to say, like, there's a good mistake for YouTube on the street with Google. I'm like, I don't think that's what I'm saying. Because it's not like, Google doesn't mess with him. That's my goal. Yeah. Julian said they're really nice to him. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Snapchat. It was, you know, like, uh, messing with him. Remember that, Snapchat? Yeah, was it last year? It was two years before. Because they've been, they've been, they've been a lot of time for nine minutes. And yeah, the security guys messing with people. Like, they're in the street, walking around messing with people on public street. I mean, really bad. There's like 30, uh, 40 security guards in the same uniform. So they have rallies and got, and got them out of here. Wow. Because I covered a couple of those rallies, man. Yeah. I hear the police the bikes and security is really happy. Yeah, because yeah, Google tells them, you know? Google is. They, 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 they lay low here, man. They've been here for years, but they lay low. I don't even know how that affects Google, you know? I mean, maybe their employees when they come out for a second, but it's not like people are burning down. No, but they come, they come out to the front. Oh, there you go. You know the, uh, the big, big monopolies? That's the way they get in and out. Oh. And they have underground blocking. You know, so they really don't even see the people. Yeah. Okay. Back once they're gone. Yeah. But then again, next week it's the same thing. And if you can't carry everything with you, you'll lose it. I'm not going to tell Kenny about their dollhouse. That was one of his dollhouses. Okay, it was definitely one of his dollhouses. Yeah. I couldn't believe they didn't store that. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're trying to sell it to you. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're being mean. She is? You know Erin, right? Yeah. She's around the corner there. Wow. And she didn't know. And I go, oh. I let her know I have her on video, but she didn't even know that you were with her. You gotta be kidding. She was surprised when I came out. Oh, I mean, that was uh, devastated, right? I, I think her and Erin are kind of accepting her. Wow. Maybe later, you know. But yeah. Well, she was like, I didn't know you were with Yeah, that, that would be great, be great to hear that. So, what are they, the ECTs or whatever, the sanitation? They're uh, LA, uh, LA sanitation, right? Yeah, but there's like a cat in the main one of Okay. But apparently the supervisors aren't always here, but the supervisors are the only ones with the answer. 
Yeah. Okay, but and they don't talk really. Yeah. Because everybody uses the excuse, talk to my boss, talk to my boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's never around, but he's nasty, that guy. I met him. Oh, okay, LA Sanitation. Yeah, top guy. Really? Yeah, because he was, he was uh, a bunch of people who knew me and them. He was really nasty about it. Was he there that day? Yeah, he was there. Okay, Yeah. So is it him and Garcetti making the biggest shots? His body is below Garcetti. He is, yeah. So it's that mean guy and Garcetti? I, I think that, that mean guy and Bonham. Uh, the person's obviously approving of this. Yeah, he is. Okay. He's leaving anyway. He's going to India. Where's he going? Soon, soon, because uh, the people, they, they keep going to his house, and he's not with that, I don't think, I, I think he's leaving. Well, now there's that new law rule or something. Oh, oh yeah, he's he leaving. You, you can't be, you can't protest like 300 feet. Oh, yeah, oh, they made that up? I don't know if it's official. It's, but it's going to be, though. Yeah. You know, you know he's on top of that one. Yeah. You got your, uh, you got, you got the video? Yeah, let's see. This is another guy's stuff. But that's him. It's Mitchell Farrell's, uh, deputy. That's unbelievable, man. And he's being put, uh, videotaped, see? Yeah. He doesn't even follow the oh, guy. I he got puts you. it right there. And then he kind of just stops. Wow, man. Like, I think he goes over there and just does nothing more. That's amazing, man. But this is the show, right? For the camera. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's not doing anything else. So you stay busy. You stay busy. No, this wasn't me. Uh, okay. This wasn't me. Uh, do you work the, uh, the downtown encampment? Well, you know, I do protests. How's that? Uh, like photographing them? I mean, yeah, I'm a good, just going down there in general. Oh, downtown? Yeah. It's a pen. It must, be, it must be really depressing down there, right? Well, you know, City Hall, there is a lot of people. But I have, I have volunteered in Skid Row last year. And we, yeah, yeah, it, it never got better. No, because they, they don't really care, right? No. Yeah. No. Once the pandemic hit, look, you know, before George Floyd, the pandemic hit, and we've been hearing, oh, we're going to help, we're going to help mm -hmm. Bun House. We're going to help them. So then I started going to Skid Row filming every week. That's just great. Car, not people's faces. And just documenting that things weren't changing. Yeah. They kept saying programs were coming. They weren't coming. They're not coming, right? No. Yeah. And so, then uh, that started weighing to me, like, you know, doing the protests and stuff. Oh. Uh, it, it never got better, right? Like, no. I remember following the news, listening to what's happening with Project Room and everything, and they sent trailers to the valley. Wow. The valley. The valley? Like we, I, I know there's a, you know, unhoused people in the valley, but go to Skid Row, set up a trailer there. They don't care. They don't care. That's basically blacks and Latinos, right? Down yes. there? Yeah. yeah. Predominantly people of color. Yeah. They just don't care. But isn't our government supposed to care? Uh, they're supposed to care. <laughs> you know? But, but it seems like it seems like the party's over though, man. It seems like uh, you know they, they're getting vicious now. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, the party is over. Yeah, because I guess they gave the unemployment, they gave uh, loans, remember that? Uh, paid oh, yeah. paid the back rent. But, but I guess that's all over it now. Now it's time to go back the way it used to be. Me. Me. Because some people are lucky. I mean, they got some nice places to stay. That they got money in the bank. No worries, you know. So yeah, they pick on they pick on the homeless people, man. Yeah. 
it's so 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 uneven in America. It really is. It's really so. sad. Because LAX had a, a lot of homeless people staying in LAX, you know, lots. Because they were allowing them during the pandemic, right? No, what they, what they did was they they put them in four-star hotels, oh. you know? Oh. And then they, they brought back that trespassing law now. You can't be, you gotta, you gotta have a reason for being in the airport. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But they have a, they have a crisis intervention team that's, that's really good with the homeless. They give them mm -hmm. opportunities. They're compassionate? Very compassionate, because I've, I've been shooting them for, like, like for years. And I put I put them on video, so they they got this unit together, and uh, they're very compassionate. That's good. That's good. In Eugene, Oregon, where I'm from, they have this uh, business or whatever you call it called Cahoots. Yeah. And that's who 911 sends out to go help with mental health crises. Yeah. And only like one person of the time they need to call for backup with cops, but they just send two people out. That's what they do. Yeah. You know? That's the way to do it. Yeah. You've been around for 31 years. That's a long time. And Americans have adopted their, their uh, model. Well, they need to. You, you call a cop, the cops may shoot the person. Yeah. Saturday, I'm going to a memorial for David Orgaz Jr. He was killed by the sheriffs, um, I think, earlier, or last year, last year sometime. He was having a mental health crisis at his house. And they shot him dead in front of his family. Yeah, I think I saw that video. The video. Oh, yeah, yeah, and the, that's... The cop man. I yeah. saw that. That was, really, that was awful. Man. Yeah. I can't see why people, they love the sheriff, man. You know, this, you know all the stuff they've been doing. Yeah. There's, there's lovers of the sheriff, for sure. No, but there's people, there's people, he came down over here and he's getting all the credit for what, you know? I saw him on that bike video. Oh, yeah, ridiculous, man. But the good news is I see a lot of homeless people in LAX that, want, that keep coming back. So I thought they, they stopped messing with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see like, like five, five, uh, it's one lady, she's like 75 years old, she's an ex-nurse. And uh, she lives in LAX. And uh, they, they try to get her out of there, but it, she keeps coming back. Keeps coming back? Yeah. Was it after the video where you got attacked that you showed Jamie? Because they've been leaving Jamie alone. Oh, yeah. That was out there. she hugged Mark? Yeah. That so, was out, yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah, because you can't put Jamie nowhere. You can't put her in a, uh, in a hotel because uh, she's mentally ill. And they're leaving her alone? Well, yeah, so, so far. Good. And the guy, the other guy, the old guy with the, with the, uh, the pink umbrellas, mentally ill guy, white. Oh, by, uh, by Rose? He, 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 he uh, hangs up by uh, Jamie's set. Oh. He's, uh, he was, on, he was on, on third last week. He was straight because he's on uh, he's on some kind of like drug. Because oh. uh, he was in the bathroom on uh, Rose and the girl died next to him in the, in, in the, uh, the bathroom. Remember that? That was really sad. Oh, she overdosed. This is Mr. Fennel. But the guy's really a nice guy though. I, I talked to him and he, last week he was like straight and he thanked me. It was great. Oh, good. Yeah. And he stays on the beach? Yeah, he has that uh, pink umbrella. It stays by Jamie. Now like. you know, because he's been in a lot of people's videos, man. Because uh, they keep, they, they kept messing with him, messing, taking his stuff, taking his stuff. But he kept coming back, you know. Is he white? White, yeah, white old gentleman. Sophie's still there. Have Is, you ever met Sophie? Yeah, but uh, Sophie sometimes she gets, uh, what do I call it? She gets too needy. You know what I mean? She's like she wants you to tape her all the time. Oh, does she really? Yeah, I, I, I said I, I, I gotta spread myself out. I just can't keep dating you. <laughs> She gets really mad sometimes. The one with the table set up? Yeah. I was going to go see her after But that. I'm proud of her though, because she, she made it work for herself. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? She's got a system. She yeah. puts it down, she puts it back up. You got to respect that. Yeah. You know, she, she, she helped me after her stuff got taken. I thought she was St. Joseph the whole time because of her green vest. Yeah. And so I showed up one morning and she was talking to two other people. And I was like, I can't believe what they did to this. And, you know, I didn't know it was her stuff. And, you know, she let me know, like, it's part of the cleansing process. For herself, she accepted. Yeah. Accepted it all. So that that really, like, was eye-opening. No, it was amazing, though. You know, she's a pirate, you know? Yeah. And she's one of them that believes in sovereignty. You know, she believes in being able to live. She properly. does. And I see it, like, I'll see it, like, on Rose Avenue in Lincoln. 
uh, clean up the streets over there. She cleans all over the all, all over the place. Oh, yeah. That's Eric's stuff. It yeah. is? Yeah. They had it taped on the other side and now there's no tape, so oh, now they're just man. I got you. He took some stuff. I hope so. But there was some things left on. Fabian's really close. Wow. Yeah, well, that, they, I guess this channel is called Santa Monica Close Up. Mm -hmm. For a reason, oh. right? <laughs> so he got his name. Yeah. That's too close. You <laughs> know what I mean? Very close. And they're not saying anything. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, that, that's shocking, isn't it? Because the tape, I think, is about safety. Yeah, I like, got you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's at least what they told me back on the boardwalk when I was. Nice to LA sanitation. Now I'm not nice to LA. Now I just don't talk to you. Yeah. Because I was just getting answers in the beginning. And then a couple of the sanitation workers were asking me out after I tried. Are you kidding? Yeah. Wow, that's good. I know. Like, I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. You know how guys are, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but when they tried to do it to Jamie before that bad day, yeah. Um, they had put up the tape and I ignored it. I was right under. You did? And that day they didn't have cops. Yeah. Um, and like Santa, I think the people in that particular crew knew that I had been, you know, they knew you. with Jamie. So they just let me stand that's up. That's great. That's know. great. But nowadays they've got the cops. Yeah, that's, that's a bad part. She was waiting the whole oh, time. Oh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's great. Wow, she made it. Yeah. Supposedly she's on the phone, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, but how did they mess that up? She was on the other side of the tape, and she dragged it. Oh, she okay, I got you. That's amazing she actually made it. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. You're right. <laughs> I'm glad that she's back. I wish Elon Musk would put money in some sort of some sort of living place that could be on wheels so people can, you know, be mobile. Yeah. On the street. That have locks and you know. Well, I guess I guess the people don't want it around here though. With these people, it's, it's really them though. They, they put a lot of pressure on. Uh, the city and the cops. You know what I mean? Them too. Uh, that too, yeah. I guess they're going to lunch now, right? Oh, is it 12? Yeah. 12 30. Maybe that's where all the cops are. Yeah, okay, folks, we're going to end the live stream right now. It's, it's been four hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> And uh, I'll talk you guys in the next one. Thanks. <laughs> that's a long. Golly, that's a long stream.